What's going on, DGBA YouTube? It's your boy, JJ Bizzle, coming at you with something fun. The D1 Power Rankings, Week 0. And we have today three others with us. Has, how we doing? Bad. Bad. He's doing bad. Mike, how we doing, sir? Worse. Worse. He's doing worse. Parksy, how we doing? Awful. He's doing awful. All right. So um, I am currently at work, so I will be in and out of this call um, talking about, yeah, these teams. So these guys are going to kind of lead the charge. It's just they don't know how to do a proper intro like I do. So, yeah, that's why I'm here now. And I will turn it over to Mike. Okay. Have at it. So we have here the uh, the mighty PowerPoint of Power Rankings. Uh, we've sort of pulled together... Uh, what uh, what order we put people in and then we've sort of averaged it out and given everyone an average position um, and then use that to order everyone so this order isn't exactly where we've put people but it's the average of where we've put everyone um, how it's always done yeah so uh, just to before we go into it obviously all the initial rankings are just based off the team uh, not based off uh, any coaches abilities or any battles that may or may not have happened in the time it's taken us to organize ourselves to do this um it is purely our opinion so any salt is to be directed at jj and not at myself parksy or has and any future power rankings are going to be uh, combined with a, uh, a weekly recap where we sort of go over the matches as we rank where people are in uh, the power rankings anything to add to that guys I'm just happy with Haz that he didn't actually leave the call this time. He actually replied to yeah. JJ. <laughs> yeah. Well, well done, Haz. Yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm growing. We will get into the list, and number sixteen. I'm sure will shock everybody. Ah, uh, what could it be? Oh, it is Coco and the Icky Town Incineroar, and I think I think we all put him at sixteenth. Yeah, I think I think you need to explain this one a bit about right. Why, so what, what this basically, Coach Oak is a bit of a lad, and what he's done is he's drafted Mono Poison. Um, and you see here the the Nag Nagandal because Has can't spell. The uh, the Nagandal has a little asterisk next to it, and that's because technically I drafted it, but I have traded it with um with Coach Oak like immediately we traded, um. Uh, and it's not valid for week one, but it is valid, valid from week two onwards. And we've just put it here so that it, it makes sense for his team. Because it wouldn't make sense if his team was mono poison and then one not poison mon. Yeah, basically, Coach Oak pretty much just said um, he, he just he just wanted to draft a mono uh, team. So I was like, why not? Why not? That's, how, how bad could it possibly be? And... Well, the result is he's picked an interesting type in Poison, which... Um, too bad. I mean, it's, it's a pretty good defensive type, but... Um, Apart from it being weak to the most common move in the game. Yeah, ground. Pretty so, much. The one, the one thing I will say about this is that at least he has hazards. I'm pretty sure he has uh, Stealth Rocks, yeah. Toxic Spikes, and Spikes, I believe. Um, Let me check. Because doesn't yeah, yeah, doesn't yeah, yeah. Fish get yeah, spikes? Yeah, yeah. That's all free. That's all free. yeah. So he has that. He has a defogger in Crobat. Uh, he has some. Like, yeah. Um, but does this all matter when? Yeah. What, does it matter <laughs> when a scarf, <laughs> scarf mold breaker earthquake Oko's pretty oh, much oh, everything except Crobat? Arrows. Yeah. So uh, he's gonna be real and bring toxic spikes versus them. So yeah, hopefully. He does actually. He does actually pick up uh, a win at some point. I mean, I mean, he has a nug and a doubt, and he's, he pretty much yeah. just has to play. I mean, he said. I think he said it himself. And um, he's, he's a hyper offense player, and he's pretty much just yeah got to pretty much use that. He has nug and a doubt. He has mega beedrill. So, yeah. So he's gonna. He's got one of the strongest special attackers. One of the strongest physical attackers. Yeah, he's, he's, got, he's got, got a lot. Of, he's got. He's got some good speed as well. Yeah. And if, if he can play around like the relative bulk of Weezing and sort of Crobat and kind of Tentacruel and a loaded muck, then he, he can do some work. He knows what his opponents are going to be bringing versus him, like bulky yeah. psychics, grinds, uh, steel. Yeah. So 
You'll get an fairies. idea by definitely going to bring the fairies. Weeks in. Yeah. Yeah. Fairies, Has. grass types. <laughs> we talked about this. <laughs> right. So. Uh, what, what are you suggesting, Parksy? What are you suggesting? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying nothing. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's about all we can say for for Oaks. Oh, team. and um, whoever has the needles, uh, yes. Oaks should like give him, offer his soul for one of the needles. Yeah. Wow. Uh, we'll move on to number fifteen, which is unfortunately myself. Wow. Um, and I'm gonna. Bad luck. My my soul defense here is gonna be that uh, Parksy sniped uh, nine of the mons that I was gonna pick. Only um, nine. Yeah, only nine. Dang it. Um, oh. So this is my team, uh, and even in my own defense of this team, it's pretty much just offense. Um, I sort of went through and ranked everyone on sort of like offensive, defensive, sort of utility and sort of the synergy of the team. And although I did rank myself sort of a, uh, a low sort of four in terms of offense, because I have quite a few things that hit quite hard, I did rank myself a one for, de uh, for defense because there's not a lot here that's going to live a hit. And I don't have the best utility in terms of rockers and defoggers and stuff um, so I think I'm going to be kind of in the same boat as uh, as Coach Oak in that I'm going to have to try and kill everything before it kills me uh, the thing I like about this team is I think it's got a lot of good priority stuff like you got got uh, the Weavile uh, the uh, the uh, Raikou and Entei with um, Extreme Speed uh, Mimikyu and uh, Metagross. Yes. Uh, plus with Scolopede, so you've really got yeah. some really good speed. Scol Scolopede, there. speed boost, Kling Clank has um, shift gear. Kling Clank is not a mon. I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it. Um, in. And then... And Raku then, is trash. I also have... <laughs> I have the Crabominable there, just... Well, not just, but mainly for st uh, Trick Room counter. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was going to say. Hold up, hold up. Let me talk about my boy Crabbomb real quick. I was going to draft that thing. That's my boy. You are going to pick up at least a kill, possibly a kill a game if you use it right. Oh, I think oh no, no. It's, it's great, but that's why I picked it over something else as, as my actual, my last pick. Yeah, I was going to say with Valor, you look quite weak because there's a lot of um, things around the 110 speed mark, which makes you question, why on earth did you pick Raikou on this team? Um... Um... Because it looks cool. Fair enough. Scolopede, BS 112, Superior, yeah. BS 113, <laughs> Raikou, BS 115. <laughs> Just... Great speed, here's Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you can't so, speed so, creep him though. You can't so... speed creep him easily. <laughs> Sorry, Captain it... Speed here. Because <laughs> like, I had no way like, speed I feel like you could drop Raikou for like. and you can get like a lower tier electric type and then just improve. Tell tomorrow. Well, I think yeah. I th I think what I wanted initially was Electros, and then I think um, yeah, someone it was else Gengar took it. Gengar I think he actually. took it. I think he mm -hmm. took it the turn that I wanted. Spoilers, by the way. Raikou. But yeah, yeah I think fair. if I can avoid hazards, then I should be okay because pretty m my defoggers are Altaria and Superior. And Mantine, and Mantine, yeah. can't forget Mantine. Yeah. But Mantine takes a fair bit from, from rocks and stuff, so does Altaria. Um, I feel, I feel like this team uh, probably leans a lot on the Mantine, and uh, you'll probably have to use uh, Mega Altaria uh, defensive a lot of weeks, unless you intend on going hyper offense. Which, uh, which I mean, that is my play style. Yeah, really. so... Um, uh, my other issues with the team is that uh, Metagross is your only stealth rocker from the looks of it. I, I, know, I know you plan on uh, changing that through transactions. Yes, I think, and, but, um, but, but get rid of Metagross. Yeah, yeah. Well, well. Spoilers. Yeah, I mean, uh, do you think it doesn't matter? There, there isn't, a, there isn't a ground type on your team, right? Not at the moment. Yeah. No. Yeah, not at the moment. And um, from the looks of it, it's all it's fire weak, it's rock weak, and it's ground weak. I don't think ground weak necessarily. I'd 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 argue against that. 
fair. Yeah. Because, because one of the I ones mean... that's weak to ground is Metagross, and Metagross generally is going to live a hit and then get a weakness policy boost and then fuck everyone up. I mean, Superior is a great, uh, you know, rock, or ground switching. Uh, that beeping, by the way, is is JJ getting it's out awesome. of his van. Yeah, that, that's it, that's. <laughs> just, just so everyone knows. Yes, I'm in my work truck. It beeps sometimes. Give me a break. I have just realised actually that uh, Kling Clang is my trick roomer. Just so everyone knows. Kling Clang gets trick room. God. Yeah, oh, I just God. found that out. So yeah, Kling Clang is my trick room. Also gets trick room. Uh, Mimikyu, Mimikyu gets her trick room. Yeah, but I'm not going to waste a move on Mimikyu for trick room. Clink Clank, however, only has two okay. useful moves. So, on to number 14, which is the Green Bayleaf Packers and Pack Fam 860. So, Pop. Oh, you guys got the team up? Yeah, Poxy, Poxy, yeah. take us through this. Okay. I'm actually going to go Bayleaf's and try and scroll like, ahead. Find my list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm literally looking through my list um, as well. I'll, I'll, I'll basically start by saying I feel like this team started off well, and then I, I don't know what enough. I feel like he sort of just decided to just meme out in the end and pick up Volby and Avalog. No, 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 no. Volby has forty points for me. Volby is power. He has a lot of plans for Volby. I will say. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, hidden, uh, hidden, hidden news. Hidden, uh, you know, that underground intel. <laughs> it mean, that like, he could have picked better, up. He could have picked up like an Asalgor over the beat. Nah, he couldn't because yeah. Asalgor's a tier Except four. Taken. I know, but he, like, uh, he could have oh, taken it like a few rounds awesome. earlier. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, Volby is better because it's prankster and it has so many more support moves. Whereas a Salgor is kind of a one-trick pony kind of thing. I, I wouldn't say that. Not fair. It can be Specs, it can be Final Gambit, it can be a lead. Yeah, you can spikes, it, it, spikes. It, it, spikes. It, dude, it's, it's pretty versatile. Uh, let yeah. me just find my list uh, a second. Please. I think that spike stacking would have been nice like for his it. team. I agree. Like, spikes are wonderful for... Um, Boo, like Boo, 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 Victine. Side dog, yeah. Well. yeah. And Pre Marina, too. Even Spec Pre Marina loves things taking a little chip. It is. Right, okay, here's it... my main problem. Go on. Victini is his only fairy resist. Does fairy not resist fairy? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> Mike! <laughs> Mate, I think I lost yeah, you yeah, twice. Um, yeah, but that was a, Yeah, he, didn't, he doesn't have a ground with poison either. Which uh, yeah. means he's pretty weak to T spikes. And um, Fact, and his he, he doesn't and, have a poison. And his removers are the Avalog and the Volbeat, so pretty much you can easily chip down a lot of his team with uh, hazards. I feel, and that's especially bad because he has Victini, and Victini can easily get chipped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, he does have. Um, I think Galvantula is a really good support. It for Titar and Zygarde though, in terms of um, switching, yeah, mm -hmm. like for yeah. vault, vault switching them in, uh, getting the webs up to help them out. Yeah, I'd say Bulu um, and Bulu appreciates that too. Yeah, I would say that yeah. this team seems a bit reliant on webs. It's yeah, quite I, slow. I that to an extent. Yeah, possibly. I think Zygarde's is fast, as, isn't it? Although, yeah, uh, although he does Stratman. have he does have oh. Stoutland in sand. Yes. Uh, yeah. Like with Mega Tyranitar, I use Mega Tyranitar in Stoutland, and having like four turns with Sand for Stoutland isn't that good. You'd rather just have eight turns or uh, yeah, seven I, turns. Yeah, I get that. That's fair enough. Yeah, uh, ignore this for a second while I try and find where my list is of people. So I don't like that Zygarde 10% uh, is his only ground type. Because then, literally, electric types can just run HP Ice, and Zygarde isn't yeah, bulky yeah. enough to live ahead. Uh, I don't think he has like a really good. Um, I guess, I guess, if he brings like maybe like a bulkier Mega T. Yeah, but... he. The only thing that he can switch into electric types that isn't weak to HP Ice is Galvantula. Really, like everything else is going to take a lot from a T Bolt or a Discharge or something. Um, um, really Galvantula is not really the best switch. I think he's going to have to run AV or just a lot of specially defensive Bulu. I feel like that, that's his best 
check to that. I mean, I know it takes super effective yeah. damage from HBI still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, so it depends on the mom, but yeah, weak electric types. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, yeah what what I had for for pack is that he does have a good offense in terms of Bulu, Zygarde, Mega Titar, Victini, uh, uh, Cabalion, and then to a slightly lesser extent, Gavantula Primarina. Um, it's kind of physically offensive heavy, um, although obviously you can run Cabalion special. Uh, you can technically run Titar special, but you've, you're going to want to do it um, physical most of the time. Same with Tapu Bulu. Um, synergy, sorry, not Synergy, uh, Utility kind of lacking. He does have, I think, two rockers and um, one webs and like one defogger or one spinner. Yeah, one defogger, one spinner. Uh, mm-hmm. That being both, Suicune. Both. I think. What? Both the webs are weak to rocks. Yeah. Doesn't does And, they're both, get and they're both like lower tier ones. Suicune's what? Sorry. Does Suicune get defog? No. 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 Just just tailwind. Yeah, just tailwind. Yeah. Um, I do think it does it does synergize quite well though. Yeah, well, well, yeah. Right, the, the main compliment I have to this team, I think that we've gro- I think this team's uh, supports really well grassy terrain. I think Bulu uh, Mega Titar is a really good call. I think uh, Victini yeah. really appreciates uh, grassy terrain defensively. So, so does and Suicune, Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Suicune also appreciates the recovery he gets from it. Yeah. So I think uh, Bulu's like going to be a really integral part to his team. Here's yeah. the real question. I think, is... I think I'll agree with Hat when he said he built well early and then yeah. he kind of fell apart towards the end a little bit. Kind of with his late ladder build. So m- the real question is how many of his mons get nature power? <laughs> oh, that's true. <sighs> do, you, do, you guys, do, you, do you guys think that um, he could make a better pick than Primarina? Because I, I feel like, I, I think he, he told me that he got it for a, a more specially offensive mod, but I feel like he maybe could have made the better pick there. Well, um, if he wanted it for offense, then probably, but... Yeah. Uh, what... I think maybe something like Blastoise. If, if it's his third free pick and you compare it to some of his other mods, that's probably, what, round seven or eight that he took that? Yeah, he, 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 he took it very late, I remember. So this probably wasn't a massive amount of... Of yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, was left. Be, yeah, but then again, he already had a water and he already had a fairy. Mm, I mean, so... Bulu, Bulu's a meh fairy, to be honest. Yeah, it's more of a grass type. Doesn't do the defensive job like, of a fairy. It, it, it barely gets any fairy stab. It's yeah, actually kind of a left yeah. eye more than anything because it's four times weak to poison then. Yeah, but uh, I like Green Rainer for the team. Actually, pr- I think he gets think... a good special. I think Pre Marina is better as 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 a sort of more defensive mon for him. Primarina works really well, Victini and under webs with the Galvantula as well. Yeah. Webs, like that's bricks. Fair, that's fair. I'll, I'll give him that. Yeah. I think to Parky's point, he's going to rely on webs a lot. Yeah. Which is okay, yeah. though. Uh-huh. Which is fine. Like, every game, game Galvantula, Tabulu. Yeah, but I mean. Yeah, that's fine, because he's clever in the game. E- so. e- even if. I find that if I have Galvantula, I bring it anyway, just because Sticky Webs is handy regardless. Mm. Because. For sure. e- even if it. Uh, like you don't necessarily need it. It can just completely defeat the point of having a scarfed mon. Um, and I, I think that that it's just a nice bring anyway. And I don't think he, he's going to end up having to bring that. I think he's got enough of a mix in his team that he's not going to be like, oh, I have to bring Galvantula. I can't bring this mon that I need. I think he's very much going to have sort of space okay. for the Galvantula in his team. So uh, let's move on to 13. Lucky number 13, Jamoy, of the Perf, Polytoads, as Poxy uh, leaves and hopefully rejoins in a minute. Um, So Jamoy's team is an interesting one. Because it's quite... it's, It's got a lot of mons that quite often go under the radar. Is it safe to say in terms yeah, of? I, I, yeah, I, I, I like this team. I like. This I like team. it because you don't see some of these very often. Quite often, Volcarona doesn't get picked up because of the four times rock, uh, rock weakness, and it's generally a tier one, and most people go for other stuff. Kamala quite often goes under the radar because a lot of people tend to forget about it. Um, Drapion quite often goes under the radar. I'm pretty sure he only picked up Z Gogo because of Zazo. 
Uh, no, it's because go go to God. But I'm still pretty sure he's picked it up because of Zasso. I mean, um, well, I mean, I think it's, I think it's probably the best cross like the twenty points, if you ask me. And, and also, he had he picked up Com uh, Komoo as his Z user, which means he had space for a tier four um, Z user, so he could have had Z Drapion, uh, or he could have had Z Kamala, uh, and he did. In fact, uh, mind Kamala's you, Kamala's a tier five as well, but he could have had Z Kamala. Yeah. He did go. I, with I, Z I, don't, I don't like Z Kamala. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think Kamala is better as sort of a rapid spinner. Yeah, and... I, just, I actually think uh, Gogurt might have been his better option. But he, 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 has, yeah, he, has, he, he could have gone um, Gogurt Kamala. If, if uh, JJ could stop having a chat with <laughs> the guys at work, that would be great. Um, but, uh, he has he has some some good utility in his team. I think I'm pretty sure Yuki gets Stealth Rock right. And then he has Drapion for for spikes and stuff, and uh, we just kick JJ. <laughs> uh, I've just muted him, so tell me when he stops. Um, Mega Agron has rocks. Uh, Starmie's a spinner. Kamala is a spinner. Um, Duck Trio is a rocker. Also has Arena Trap this year, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, but I've sorry. always had the Arena. Well, it's had the Arena Trap since jump very bit. Yeah, but we haven't allowed it. Uh, yeah, we have. Oh, have season we? four, did we allow it? I'm not sure about season we, five. I swear we didn't allow it last season. It was a big thing this no, season no, no, to no, allow. No, we didn't. We, no, we didn't allow Shadow Tag. Oh, I thought it was Shadow Tag and Arena Trap. No, no, we've always, we've always allowed. We've always allowed. Oh, There's no I'd have, I'd have picked, Trio. I'd have picked Dog Trio <laughs> a, a long time ago. I just assumed it wasn't around. Yeah, um, no, no, always allowed. Should talk about how Star is only Water type. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. I was about to yeah, ask but, you, what's, that, what's this? Debate? Gem like. Does it count? I told you last season. No, it has it has a lower base HP stat than Greninja. But it is a it's still it's an improvement. It's still fairly bulky, and it's a rapid. I, 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 I wouldn't count. I wouldn't count as a bulky water, but but I think it fits his team really well. It, I wouldn't. It's a bulky sidekick. Ish. If it's a bulky sidekick or a bulky water, it's a very bad one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> again, though it was picked late and there wasn't much. There are around. loads of bulky waters. I, I think potentially he could have. Slow bro, slow thing. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He could have got one of those. Yeah, I he. Feel... Do, thing is, they're more physically defensive, and he has uh, Mega Agron, um, and he has that. Especially the fire type slow attack. King's, it's a start. <laughs> slow Kings are especially defensive, but um. Yeah, good point. Yes, has yeah, for fire I, types. Pardon? Yes, has uh, Kamoro for fire types. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's as I don't think it's as bad as last season, but I feel like Mega Agron probably would appreciate a bulkier water. But, I, but at the same time, I feel like uh, Volcarona really appreciates the uh, Stalmy because Stalmy's one of the best yeah. uh, rapid spinners in the game. So um, I think I think it's e either or. He he. Well, he has three removal options. Yeah, which is. Um, why he's no, he has Volcarino, four. Actually. He has he has four. He has the best default in the game, Volcarona. I didn't so, even yeah, know three. Volcarona no. got default. Yeah, it, it got it, it got default in uh, Ultra and Ultra Moon. Yeah, yeah, so beware, guys. I actually rated uh, Jamoy's team just freeze across the board because I th I feel like like we said the Volcarona with multiple um, removal options. Um, and sort of Volcarona and Starmie, and then you've got Zapdos in there, and Volt switching into. Uh, I really, I really Pokemon. like the um, Zapdos uh, Sylveon uh, Mega Agron call. Oh yeah, that's yeah, yeah. that's disgusting. I yeah, even like told him. Yeah, it's. It, I think. I, even I, even uh, if he doesn't have his uh, Volt call, I think his defense is still really solid. I like Zapdos hmm. and Yuxi as a, a Volt turn call as well. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. With uh, that. I think. Um, does then, it, does he does this team appreciate the slow pivoting? Eh. Uh, fairly. I mean, come on. Well, he can slow yeah. pivot. He can slow pivot in with the Comoa or the Volcarona, yeah. and that can allow them to get in yeah, a free Dragon yeah, Dance or a free yeah, Quiver Dance. Even also like Starmie. even into Doug Trio as well, because if he if he brings if like some his opponent brings in something to take on the Zapdos or the Uxie, maybe like a Rock type to take on the Zapdos. 
he brings in Doug Trio. That rock type is now trapped. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I, I, I do think this team was actually pretty well composed, if you ask me. Um, my only other issue with it is that there doesn't seem to be like an, any sort of good priority in this team. Uh, um, I, I'm not counting Sucker Punch, by the way. Yeah, it's it's just Drapion Sucker Punch. Yeah, and uh, yeah. That, that, and, that's, and, that's and, Doug, and Doug Trio Sucker Punch. Yeah. I think that's it. One time, I'll get Sucker Punch. Mm, I think so. I want to say no. I can have a look. Okay, right. Well, I'll go through my point while Mar uh, Mike sure. looks up some stuff. Um, I was looking at this team and it looks it kind of. It does, yeah. It does. Yeah. It's also I was, looking at, okay. I was looking at this team and it looks quite uh, one dimensional. Like most Pokemon only have about two good sets. You got Zapdos. Zapdos has defensive. way more. Zapdos than has two like sets. seven way sets. Way more than two sets. Seriously, <clears throat> like he, it's not. It's not like he like three attacks. It's it's. And then so like po it's Poxy, so I brought two different Zapdos sets against you. It's like it's like one what? of the most versatile electrics. But other than that, I I I agree for I agree for the most part. I think we've like maybe except Como, uh, Zapdos. And no, 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 I, I just want to check. He does know that Komowo can't have Z. Um, yeah, yeah, spells, it's still right? it's still really it's still really good uh, Z user yeah. because uh, it can set up um, both uh, physically and specially. Yeah, can it set I up specially? Just want to check. I mean, let's be honest. Any any dragon type is a good Z user, pretty much, except maybe Drigodon. Um Just because devastating Drake wow, is going to hit so much. Actually, you know what, Drudagon with its move set, still not no, a bad, still not a bad Z user. I mean, Kumo is still just good as just like a wall breaker on the special yeah. side. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, and you can you can still run. Um, does he get a totemize or? Um... Yes, yes he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can still run that set and um, special. Yeah, or totemize, Clangris scales, flash. Yeah, cannon. and you, you can run. You can run it maybe as it like maybe a bulky stealth rocker some weeks. So I, I I feel like that's... Yeah. That mon has uh, more than two sets, but I, I generally agree that yeah. I'm surprised there are a lot of what, there are a lot of mons which sort of have one job. Yeah, but I think mm -hmm. they match on pretty well. I I know that it is a higher speed tier. I'm almost a little surprised he didn't go with like Z Dug Trio. Yeah, Z Dug Trio could have been good too. Z Dug Trio could have, because he has like uh, stuff like Z uh, Memento and and Z Reversal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, but, okay. overall it's very solid, but there's nothing really stand out um, about it. One thing, yeah. I will, one thing I will say about uh, Z Kamo, uh, Kamo is that I feel like uh, Z, I, feel, I feel like he probably needed the breaking power more of Kamo than the uh, maybe the support of Z Dog Trio. True, true. Uh, but yeah, it's it's solid but not spectacular, which is why it's sort of I like down. it. I like it. Yeah. That's, that's a pretty um, decent team. Yeah. So, 12th, we have Spoink and the Des Moines Deli Birds. Uh, has Des Moines off Deli Bear. This one. I, I don't have two. I mean, this, I think this seems solid, but there's one glaring, glaring problem with this team. That is that this Basically. team doesn't have a ground immunity and it's only ground resist is Tangrowth. Uh, which he doesn't even want, and he, he wants to try. Me. He, he he keeps trying to ask if I want to trade it. He's trying to trade it to me for Road and Wash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, like no. <laughs> you know. So uh, anyone I, I would, would, anyone would, want Tangrowth? It's up for sale. I would like to just all thirteen of you make make one 14, technically one slight uh, uh, thing is he does have Magnet Rise Klefki. Yeah, but. He's not. He's not going to be able to switch it in. He's not going to be able to switch it in. Here's the problem with KFK. Here's the problem. Okay, you said he has to. Uh, well, he could run Magnet Rise KFK, but KFK is going to be quite often his defogger as well as a spike stacker and other roles because yeah. his only other defoggers are Blaziken and Mew, and yeah. you don't want to pigeonhole Mew into anything. Yeah. Other Blaziken. Okay, uh, I mean, I feel like I, I sort of disagree um, with because um, you can. I, I feel like if you can still do all right if you just pigeonhole Mew into like any sort of uh, set that you want. 
But um, I, you just don't get the most value out of it, pretty much. Yeah. You can still... Um, I feel like if you wanted to be your tier one, though, you do want to just be a defensive Pokemon. Yeah, you yeah, want no, to get I, I get, I get, I get that. I get that. Yeah. I think the the main thing that I rated on his team was the utility. Yeah, yeah, he, he has good utility. He has Mew gets Stealth Rocks, Klefki gets Spikes and Screens, Miltank gets Rocks, uh, Garchomp gets Rocks, Blaziken, sorry, not Blaziken, uh, Greninja gets T Spikes and I think Spikes, spikes. as well. Uh, Doug Trio mm -hmm. has Rocks um, uh, and stuff like that. Yeah, um, he's, he's got um, four. Also, rockers. Gramble is an Intimidate as well, which I always yeah. forget to mention. And the Mega Manetric is Intimidate. Nice, nice core. Wait, yeah. I always get mm -hmm. mixed up with whether normal Manectric is Lightning Rod or Mega Manectric's Lightning Rod. It's normal Manectric's Lightning Rod, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, like I said, I've, I've, it, like his defense is solid. I think his offense is solid. I think Clef Key plus uh, Protein Greninja can be really scary. Um, basic uh, setting up screens or T waving any faster Mons or Scarpers. Um, also, I believe. Mew, Mega Manectric, Greninja, and Blaziken as his Volt Switching Core. As his uh, Volt Turn Core. Um, ba ba uh, Blaziken gets uh, Baton Pass, I think. Uh, ah, yeah. does, does it not get U Turn? No, I no. Don't believe. So just, just Baton Pass then. Yeah, it, and, um, uh, He has a Lola Mola, which is, in my opinion, the best Wish Passer in the game. I yeah. mean, I, I, I've, I've always said to. Not a huge fan of Alo Mamola, but um, yeah, it, it's still a very good wish passer. I think, and I think it, uh, it suits his team pretty well, uh, especially since uh, as we all said last season, Greninja is not a bulky water type. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I um, think I think the the hidden MVP on his team is going to be that Gramble. I think okay. it's actually going to do a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> We're just not. I, I'm calling it now. That is going to be his uh, secret MVP. A protein Greninja, not Mega Manetric, yeah, not Garchomp. Nah, screw all Gramble. Gramble. What, what do you think of... Uh, by the way, you should, you should say that protein Greninja uh, can't use Gunk Shot or Newton. What, what do we, do we think? Because oh, there's been that. some debate of whether it's a uh, Tier 1 or if it's, it's a Tier it's 2. It's definitely not a Tier 1. Not mm. without gunk shot on Newton. In my opinion, dies too. I, th I think it could be a very good versatile breaker. It's kind of like Mew. I think if it I, had feel, I feel like with Z, um, it, it's all uh, potentially alleviates the uh, breaking thing. I think the uh, I think U turn probably hurts it a fair bit. Yeah, yeah, because it's gonna have to switch out rather than, yeah, than yeah, U turn out against we, threats. Because if you if you um, put. Because uh, with U-turn, I think it becomes pretty mindless. You can just click U-turn on whatever. Also, I'll be honest. Every time I've seen Protein Greninja, I've been thinking that's Ash Greninja, and it's not. Um, yeah, same honestly. Sorry. Yeah. Yes, Protein Greninja, I do think is a tier one. <laughs> just gonna, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Sorry. Cool, yeah. cool. Protein Greninja. Yeah. I do all right. Think yeah, is sure. One. Sure. Um, uh, one other thing I will say it doesn't have grounded poison, and that's pretty bad. Um, when you have uh, stuff like a regen call. So. Even though I do know he has, uh, he, Klefki is immune and can remove them, but as we said earlier, Klefki has to run. It seems like on this scene, Klefki has to run a lot of different moves. Mm. Unless he makes some changes. Yeah, he could do with, in my opinion, swapping um, one of his free picks for, for a, uh, a poison type or a flying type. Yeah. Or a mm -hmm. I, 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 th I think the um, I think I think getting a ground immunity is probably the priority. Yeah. Yeah. As, as, as bulky as Tangrowth is, like once you take that out, you can pretty much just spam. You can pretty much uh, spam EQ, and that's like grounds like one of um, EQ is like one of the most common moves. Yeah. So I think that's that's a huge problem. So I was looking at his team, right? And right. you guys brought up about all the defensive mods like Tangrowth, Clefki, Miltank, Granville, Alumula, yeah. and in some cases Mew. Uh, but here's the thing. Um, it, it, okay, this is weird saying this with a team of Clefki, but um, setup, 
sweepers kind of can just go in on his team, especially because his priority is, I believe, Mew, Greninja, and then like T Wave, Clef Key. Uh, so uh, if he can set it... gets vacuum wave, but actually, I, I do, I do sort right. of extend. So yeah. if you're running something like substitute, set up move into attacks, you can very easily just blow through his team uh, and if get. You, if you're on some like trick room arena close, you set up that trick room on the Alo Momola. So win. Uh, I think yeah. having a little bit of a uh, mic buzz there has. Oh, what's that? Oh, sorry. Yeah, um, sounds like it's on fire. <laughs> oh, is it, is, is it alright? Did you, did yeah, you yeah, hear? Yeah, it's, it's fine now. Alright, cool. Just, just, cool. just, I, I, I just wanted Poxy to hear that. Yeah. Um, Thank, you. Thank you. Let's move on to number 11, which is Avocado. Okay. of the Los Angeles Lanterns, the man with the most annoying logo in the league because it is the only horizontal one and everyone else is his portrait. That That's that's my criticism, is uh, get a proper... He, he, he uses uh, sort of... Yeah, but it's huge, so we let him off. Just put put the lantern... Oh, oh, we'll see here. about that, right, Poxy? We'll see about that. Put, put, the, lan <laughs> put the lantern here. And it's, yeah. it's, it's Let's get on with his team. Right, his we, team. We, we can't make fun of team, his team. His team. Can't make fun of his um, team. Fairly defensive, in my opinion. Um, Glygar, Cresselia, Ferrothorn, Megalatios, and Hitmontop, all fairly bulky. I think it's safe to say. Yeah. Um, Z Ariados is an interesting choice. Um, I, I feel like that's just, just because um, he doesn't have another tier yeah, 5, I think. No other yeah. tier 5. No other tier 5, so yeah. That, that, and, he had, and he picked Tyrannus as a Z. Which again, Ariados could, yeah. <laughs> could be fun, though. Yeah. It could be fun. The sniper. Yeah. Personally, I think I'd have made Chandelure his Z. Where's Cav? Where's Cav? Can, we need Cav to <laughs> talk about how bad Chandelure is. But, like, if he has Chandelure, he can have Chandelure and Jolteon. I'd rather have Z as Umbral over Tyranitar. I was actually about to ask that. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad, but then you kind of assume that they're going to bring Z Betty Drum most weeks. Or maybe Drinkle Tackle. You can also run, like, a lot of other stuff. Like, that's what I feel like Z as Umbral is so good at. Like, of course you get Belly Drum, which is, like, amazing. But you also get Sub Zero Slammer, Fight in EMZ, Dark in EM. Barium, I'll be honest, I don't actually like moves. Z Belly Drum because yeah, that's fair. That's fair. you you don't get that berry to bring you back up, so you're 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 stuck at fifty, and then it, it's good on slow Belly Drummers that have priority, mm -hmm. which I quite guess Azumarill kind of is. But... On the topic of Azumarill. Were Azumarill and Chandelure really the optimal ice resists on the yeah, team? Yeah, I was about to say that. His, his team's <laughs> pretty much... Yeah, I mean, Azumarill does, get, um, then... Azumarill does get thick fat. Yeah, but... You know, then, like... Like, like I, I, can, like, I guess like... Slap Zipper can be um, used sometimes. It, it, it has some uses. Um, yeah. Slap Zipper, Azu, but thick fat, eh. Yeah, it's, it's, not great. it's not great. It's like, if you have to bring that to cure your ice resist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he has yeah, stuff like um, the Megalatias, the Gligar yeah, as well. So much. Yeah. Staraptor, Megalatias, yeah. Gligar. Yeah, like, that's why um, in okay. my Season 4 team, like, I didn't want Ferrothorn to be, like, my only, like, I'll steel tell you type. What. Yeah, I, I, I get that. I'll tell you what. Kling Clang. Trick rooming for Crabominable is looking no. quite nice against this team. No. Right, okay, uh, next person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, well, I was yeah, say Ava thing. was another guy that I kind of just rated sort of freeze across the board. Yeah. And that he, the one thing he does have a lot of is ground immunities. If you look at his team, he has a lot yeah. of stuff that is immune to ground. He's got yeah. the Megalatios, Staraptor, Gligar, Mons. Cresselia, um, and then other Mons that aren't grounded don't necessarily take the most from it in terms of like Hitmon Top and stuff like that. Um, some of his others do actually. Uh, in terms of um, hazards and stuff, he has 
the Gligar style Frock. He has Ariados with T spikes and I think webs. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. I don't know. I don't know if he gets. Did you say toxic or not. spikes? Yeah. Ariados gets toxic spikes. Yeah, uh, and Theraphorn has a couple as well. Um, I think his defoggers are Gligar, Megalatios. And Staraptor. Staraptor. And head so, on top of a rabbit spin. Yeah, of course. That was the one thing I was uh, forgetting there. I, I was gonna, I was gonna say this. I'm not really sure now about it, but it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle for him to bring hazard removal, just because, like, uh, Megalatios doesn't really want to run defog nor just a raptor. Hit him on top. I think you guys covered up well in the D2 um, yeah. power rankings. Was that? It's kind of hard to bring. I knew that in season three for the one week I played uh, before Mike took over uh, and moved my team. Um, uh, Hitmon Top's a hard Pokemon to bring for a rapid spinner, and you really just bring it for a rapid spin. Guy goes pretty good, I'll admit, but there's yeah, always HP ice. Uh, I feel like if he if he brings a maybe like a more defensive Azumarill uh, some weeks, I feel like he his team would really benefit from that because then he'd have. Uh, sort of an Azumarill, Ferroform, Gligar call, which I think could be yeah. Well, would, he, would be pretty hard to break down. If he if he goes like a bulkier Azumarill, then the only thing it's going to be weak to is Grass and Electric and Poison. Yeah. Poison, Maybe break, poison like, is something... dealt with by Ferroform. Electric is dealt with by Jolteon uh, and or Gligar, and um, Grass is dealt with by most of his team. I feel like maybe oh. if he like brings maybe like a sap zipper set sometimes to like yeah. bait uh, grass types who think they can check it, or if he brings something like a perish trap set, you know, I know non-zero mm. brought that a few times in the season four. And I, I feel like he could yeah. really get the most out of Azumarill. I'm not saying not saying not to bring like you know the standard belly drum or yeah. banded Azumarill. Those are all still very good sets. I just think that Megalatios, Tyranitar, just forms such a good core. That yeah, is just yeah, an no, incredible I agree, core. I, agree. I completely agree. Yeah, he, that's, he has that's... um he has Staraptor Jolteon as his Vault core, which I think is a really good fast yeah. uh, Vault turn. He's got a lot of uh, good physical breakers. Gligar as well. Gligar. I th I think a lot of times his Gligar is going to be. Stealth, if he brings it, it's, it'll be the end of like Stealth Rock, Defog, then maybe like Roost and either U Turn or Earthquake. I mean, if he brings Ferrothorn, he. Maybe um, Knock Off. He, he could probably, probably start to bring Stealth Rocks all the time. Yeah, it could be. Same with Tyrannus already. He's, he's got good Stealth Rockers, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Although I don't think Z Tyranitar will be. Uh, will be Rocks. Mm, true. Just I mean, it can be free attacks and Stealth Rocks. Yeah. I assume it'd be free attacks and dragon dance, with with Z. I, I I'd say I'd say um, Mega um, Tarant is probably um, gonna be um, Isabella dragon dancer, but um, in most other cases, I'd say regular Tarant is Bella. I prefer Mega Tyranitar, uh, sorry, normal Tyranitar as a as a. Uh, yeah, I think dancer. I think I think just normal Tyranitar just uh, I feel like Tyranitar just benefits more from uh, having the item because yeah you you like can have policy. yeah yeah we, exactly so I, I, I ran like AP and I think I ran that was like it, that I think it was JP I ran that against and then he just shit on me with fucking oh the Leafion it's just the Leafion thing yeah I'm still I'm still upset at that <laughs> I was like it, no, pl like... I've planned this for weeks and it's finally come together and then. Leafy it's okay. It's, it's okay, Mike. It's that was okay. the first time right. Mike actually planned for more. It than was. <laughs> it was like I was like, look yeah. what I was like, this is the team that it works against, and then, right, Hughes, Hughes, <laughs> what can we say about all right, all right. Mold just, just give us the FK. Poxy, because he's been really, he's been really anticipating. Yeah, yeah. Poxy this loves time. this team. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I, I right. think it could first be used as a fire type. Yeah, fire type. It could first be used as a fire type. I mean, like, like, okay, you guys are gonna like laugh at this, but actually, I, I think I have a pretty good two two good people beside me that will support this idea, and that uh, instead of Rainy, he should drop it for Rapidash. Uh, I've, I've, <laughs> uh, wait, I've never flash fire. I've never heard of that one. It, never, uh, you know. know Actually, I'm not gonna lie. Rapidash does look good on this team because he has. Thank he you, has, Mike. He has I'm, the I'm, I'm, Celebi in inverted quotes. 
spoilers. He has the Mega Sizzle. Both would appreciate. Fire uh, fire. I think I do agree. This thing, this team probably appreciates Fire Type. Although, if if you're getting a Fire Type just for um a, a, to be a Fire Resist, well, or Marine's a Water Type. His his first three, and I think and, and his Marine first is, three has... Mons are weak to Ice. As is that's that's why you get Lucha. I don't. That's think... why you get double water. Yeah, but Marini doesn't count. It it it, it takes hits. It's a Marini. All right. Okay. All right. All right we're gonna do some calculations. Marini. You guys keep Marini's you guys keep base stats you guys keep are three hundred and five. Marini doesn't get like the black sludge recovery that Toxapex does, which might be an issue. You can't really stall yeah, like with still, protect. You, still, you can still regen and recover. Yeah. I know, but then he has to like switch uh, out. Um, but um, also, anyway, I don't uh, think Marini doesn't get baneful bunker, does it? No, I don't know. I, I don't know, Marini. Mike, stop, stop that. Just... <laughs> <I'm laughs> right, like uh, Marini experts. Um, the uh, one okay. thing I will say is that I do think, other than the lack of fire type, his team does work quite well together. Yeah, he has okay. um, quite a few U-turners. He's in his Landorus, his Celebi. His, uh, I nearly said Nidoking right, then. Uh, uh, his me Mega Scizor, that, his Horlucha. I'm not sure if Alolan Persian gets it, but it does get Parting Shot, which uh, I know is a lot of oh, people's favourite move. Um, he has some decent bulk in his uh, Reggie Rock, but not necessarily a lot else. I guess Snorlax, if you play it like. Uh, if you play it like um, like Zero does, which is very defensive and really move, uh, really mean even. Um, looking at it, <laughs> the only thing he has really that appreciates dark type moves is a lowland Persian and I guess Tapu Fini. Other than that, quite a lot of his stuff gets hurt by dark types. Um, and a lot of dark types tend to have like a poison coverage move, in my opinion, anyway. Um, so like Tapu Fini could get hurt there. Um, obviously, Zlanderus is just always a threat. So yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, Landorus is one of the best seeds in the game, and I have from using it last season. I think it's just ridiculously good, as a Z, uh, just as a mod in general, because it just it can just fill so many roles for a team. Uh, also, um, I think Reggie Rock is quite a good pickup on his team. Yeah, I like it. Oh, the other thing, Reggie Rock completely, underrated. Completely yeah, I, I, I like I, I like Reggie. Yeah, I, I like Reggie Rock because it, it gives him an actual uh, flying resistance. In, in my opinion, it should have been a Zemon though. In my opinion, Reggie Rock should be instead of Marini. Should be a I tier think four. I think he just did that as a joke. I, I think yeah. I also think he was um, he's just planning to drop Reggie Rock. Reggie Rock's like. Uh, like Honestly, Rock I, th I, yeah. Rock. I think Reggie Rock should be a tier four, in my opinion. Um, yeah, well, we can bring him house. The the other thing that I want to mention is he has Tapu Lucha, but not yeah. the Tapu Lucha. I mean, yeah, he hasn't got Coco, but he has the arguably the worst Tapu Lucha. Actually, no, Tapu Bulu is the worst Tapu Lucha, but he has Tapu Fini and Hall Lucha. Um, so I, I, th I think he need, I think he needed the speed to be honest, so I, I'm okay with it. Yeah, um, I mean it's not bad. I have nothing yeah, against yeah, it. Yeah, I, 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 I think it still works. Obviously, it's not as good as Horlu uh, Coco, but Coco went really yeah. early. Went really just like he liked Toyo Lucha worked for him the, in season four. Also, I think yeah. the main reason that Coco Lucha works is that a Coco is a ridiculous mod on its own right, and mm. it vault switches Hall Lucha in, which Finny can't do. Um, but I think Finney with Scizor... Well, actually, Finney works great with his team. Yeah, Finney of, works really well with... He has, uh, like, Lando four and... great... Mega Scizor. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't work with Landorus, though, does it? Because Landorus isn't grounded. Oh, no, no, sorry. I, I'm sorry, I meant that in terms of, like, the uh, full time weaknesses. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and so... and so this needs like... Rapidash. <sighs> right, Poxy. Right, okay. Poxy, Poxy. Just, uh, you, you need to calm it down with the Rapidash. I, I agreed that in circumstances it can be useful. Uh, 
do, do you said... really, Mike? Mike, do you really think that that it, that this team deserves to be 14 because they didn't have a rapid dash in it? No, no. I have. I <laughs> have. This, just... I think we no, both had eight. I haven't even defend myself yet. All right, no, you all right, haven't. Right. So hurry up. Okay. Right. Okay. So. You're talking about his walls, right? Snorlax, Happy Feeny, Reggie Rock, and Landris Therian. Okay, so barring Snorlax with Gluttony and yeah, the berries, none of them have reliable thing. recovery. Has. Come on, say things already. I keep on sniping what you're saying. Snorlax gets I was, I was about to say, this team could really, really do with a wish passer. Like, yeah. really, mm -hmm. really could do with uh, it. It would be benefit a lot from having a good wish pass from this team. Because I think things like Lando, um, uh, Foxy. Finney, I would just like to point you to the fact that Tapu Fini gets Aqua Ring. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Card Mind Aqua Ring. Card Mind I, I didn't Aqua say so Ring is a but... great special wall. Oh wait, no, no, guys, 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 we're all getting the best wall in the game. Miss uh, Majors, Miss okay. Majors, the best. Uh, Going to JJ, it's, it's a wall. It's... Yeah, can we get JJ into? Uh, <laughs> is he around to defend? Is he around to work in JJ? Oh, did they, did they not actually find a, um, a replay in which uh, this major actually did work, like in D2? Uh, no. Oh, he's unmuted. <laughs> I wasn't in New League. <laughs> JJ was in there. NU in the 1100s. <laughs> JJ? Oh, yeah, okay, so here's also my other issue with this team. All right. Uh, let me just quickly look over it. He has no vault switcher. Uh, no electric type, actually. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't think electric types are essential, but I think uh, Volt Switch, um, like with Mega Sizzle, I do agree. He yeah. does have a um, lot of U turners, though. Okay, so, but the the main problem about not having an electric type is that leaves his only response to bulky waters, which are coming because Mega Sizzle, uh, being Celebi, which might have to be more offensive because, as you said, it gets reliable recovery. And energy Ball and Specs, Miss Magius. I'm sorry. So the, so yeah, the I, yeah, I feel like this team really struggles in bulky waters. Also, because he has uh, stuff like land. You have to bring choice specs, energy ball, and this magius, just to counter water types. Then I fear for you. Uh, also, see, that's where you get sure. rapid ash. Yeah, Snorlax gets. Oh, yeah, those two were bulky waters, aren't they? Snorlax yeah, gets. Why, is he uh, wild charge? Hello? I just like to say that uh, Snorlax gets both seed bomb and solar beam. So if he did have so that really rapid dash like and he did cards. run, if he did run <laughs> sunny day, sunny day rapid dash into solar beam snore. Beam, snore. Apart from solar beam snore, <laughs> like what else is using sunny day? <laughs> solar beams. How much? How much special attack does Snorlax have? Like, I know, like uh, sixty-five. Oh, 65, I don't know why. Sorry. Off my heart, but to be fair, go. I did have. I had choice. I had a special <laughs> Snorlax in my run through of Leaf Green. Of course you did, but then yeah. then they had that they didn't have the uh, physical special ability, yet, did they? No. So Hughes, if Mike has taught you anything, bring Sunny Day with new fire types in your team and new Sun Abuse. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So we're being Snorlax. Bring Choice Pack, Energy Ball, Miss Magius, just Poxy. to counter water. Poxy, listen, yeah. I said replace the Marini with Rapidash. Oh, okay, right. There we go. Yeah. Right, ninth, <laughs> we have Non-Zero <laughs> of the Chicago Blacephalon. I think that's how you say it. Please follow on. Yeah. On on oh, wait, first look, his team is scary, but when Poxy yeah. delved in, I think he found some problems. Uh, Hold on. One that's thing I will say is that offensively, uh, yeah. this is monstrous in terms of Jirachi, Mamoswine, Mega Gyarados, Terrakion, and Blacephalon. That's scary. Poxy's already got a boner over this team because it has Rabombi. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Uh, he's got Serena for uh, Rapid Spin. Um, I think that's his only removal, though. No, he has he has Rabombi and uh, Illu Mize. Oh, no, I don't Illumise. think I don't yeah, think Illu Mize gets Illu Mize. Was a uh, L U uh, whatever? I don't think uh, it was that a meme pack or whatever. I I don't know. I don't, this team. Oh, oh so... it does. It does. I think it's a Lum Illumise. It does. And... <sighs> it, no, Illumise for the same reason that Volbeat. It's prankster. He has a Rabombi. Yeah, but that doesn't have prankster. But why? Rabombi's like. For twenty hundred and twenty-six speed. 
It's so fast already. 124. 124, sorry. Don't even yeah, know the Pokemon yeah, I drafted. Yeah, but Rabombi doesn't get T-Wave. Rabombi doesn't get Wish. Rabombi doesn't uh, get Screams. You say the Wish Passing. Uh, <laughs> that was Wish Passing. <laughs> Honest, uh, honestly, uh, uh, Illumise is clef key without the hazards. But I, I feel like <sighs> also gets seismic toss, which I run sometimes. Well, uh, Illumise is clef key without I, the hazards. Just like to say that watching Illumise seismic toss a Charizard is quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I digress. Um, also, Illumise is Stop. aromatherapy. It screens. It's Thunder Wave, it's Tailwind, it's uh, Torn. It's JJ walking in the chairs. It's Encore, it's Deep. I think he wants to say something about I said that. It's like smacking us for again. It gets almost it's every now, utility. Did you want to say anything on Non-Zero's team? Uh, doesn't look like it. He has a lot of Scarf options. Zero does. Oh, Mike, uh, uh, JJ speaking. Is he? Oh, yeah. I've, I've still got him muted. muted. <laughs> I told you to tell me when to unmute him. Alright, I'll, I'll mute him now. Alright, JJ, right. go. Sorry, JJ. Why'd you have me muted? Because you were making noises. <laughs> I wasn't making. I Carry on. I've been on mute for anything. You're know, like smacking no, your phone no, into he, a chair. No, he, he, no, he, he muted you like. Um, I dropped my phone. Like, this was like 20, like 20 minutes, minutes ago. ago. Whatever, anyway. So, uh, yeah, it seems quite scary to play in for. He's got a lot of good offensive bonds. Uh, Mammoth Swine is just a nightmare. It is insanely strong. I, I, like I said, I played him, so I already know. Um, but his team is super weak defensively. Like, yes, fighting, is... flying. Uh, yeah, he, he, has, he, 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 he has one flying resistance, and it's Jirachi. Yeah, I mean, Tornado put in work in our match. Um, if it, you know, just had his glasses on and could hit a hurricane, I would have won pretty easily. Well, he only, he only has he only has two dark resists. No, he has one dark yeah. resist in Mega Gyarados no, he, and Terrakion, he has, which has justified. He has a ridiculous weakness. I think he has five uh, mons which are weak to ghosts. Five mons. And yeah, he is. And, and, and his ghost is the um, Mega Gyarados, which doesn't even start right, off back, doesn't even start off as a dark type. And gets yeah. no allowable recovery. Also, his yeah. uh, his other immunity is Ditto, which is yeah, inevitably going to exactly. turn That's into a ghost the problem, type. The problem with his team is that individually, all these mons are really, really good. I only see Together, I only see three. Weaknesses. I, only see, I only see three weaknesses to Ghost. Uh, let's see, uh, Drachi, Drachi, Blacephalon, Mashana. Swear it was fine. Nothing else is weak to it. Drachi. Oh, which, yeah. which also he has the same amount of weaknesses to to uh, dark, and it's the, it literally ghost? the same. Oh, ghost and ghost and dark all hit the same things, and was it, his counter to both was it, of them is mega dark. Was it? Oh no, sorry, no, sorry, sorry, no, no, no. It was fire. That it was fire. He had four, sorry, four and a half weaknesses to fire. Because he has thick fat much one gets thick fat, so it's yeah. like a half resist. And his resistances are Mega Gyarados and Terrakion. Which both yeah, don't which, want are, to get which are both offensive mons. Yeah, sorry. And, and, and Blacephalon. Oh, and like Gudras. Gudras. Like Gudras, Gudras an okay. And Blacephalon. But Blacephalon's Bl not good. Blacephalon doesn't here. count. Blacephalon. Yeah, sorry. Okay. The one thing he does have, have, he has. He has, he has Jirachi, which is quite often scarfed. Mamoswine, quite often scarfed. Ditto, always scarfed. Terrakion, he, he, he... quite often scarfed. Blacephalon. Quite often scarfed. Unless you're going hyper offense, I think Drachi is going to be defensive most weeks. Yes. Oh no, I I, th I think that his team's going to have to have defensive Jirachi. Yeah. Just, just because a lot of his. Yeah, like, he's, 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 got, he's, got, he's got a lot of good win cons, but I, I just don't think they. No, I, I just no don't think zero. Team it's probably together. It's probably like Calm Mind, Wish, Baton Pass, and Iron Head. Or something ridiculous. Yeah, I like can that. see maybe run Carmine sometimes, but that's like the only like real. I'm just glad he didn't. I'm thinking get... like a defensive like... stealth rocker. I'm just glad he didn't get Clefable and Snorlax this year. Otherwise, I'd have just committed suicide. <laughs> well, when time like he needs. Like, <laughs> like, I don't game. see like any sort of defensive. I maybe like Drouching Gudra, perhaps. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it's even just... then, one of the, the ground still kind of does a lot. 
knock off. I also, I also think there. because he's, he's because he's got the double bug. Not only does it make it him really fire weak, flying weak, it also makes him really Rocky. stealth rocks weak. Because you just have to keep in mind that um, Meg Gyarados uh, before Mega Evolves is a flying type. His, his only stealth but, rock resists are Jirachi, Mamoswine, and Terrakion. And it, and two of his removal doesn't resist oh, stealth sorry, rock. and Serena. And yes, you're right. Sorry, Mamoswine doesn't. I meant uh, Jirachi, and two of his removers are uh, Bombin the Illumise, which are both weak to rocks. Yeah. I think Serena's gonna be his main removal. Yeah, yeah I think I it'll think it'll end up being like assault vest <laughs> rapid spin. I've tried it. Oh, sorry, yeah. So, uh, I've tried Serena a few times, and I just think it's just it's. I, I feel like it's, it's all it's all just a bit underwhelming. I just feel like its bulk just isn't good enough, so you don't you don't really tend to bring it that much. But I feel like he he probably will bring it a lot because. Like his other removals, meh. I mean, Rabombi is an okay removal because it's really quick, but I feel like it, it's 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 better off being like a web setter or quiver yeah. dance using I on his think team. His team is a little bit like mine, and it is very offensive minded. Yeah. And then he has a little bit of support which I don't have, um, and that's why his is higher. I think ninth is a little bit high for him. I agree. And I think I that's agree. actually my fault. <laughs> uh, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think I where, where yeah, I had I... him. Uh, to go back to what Has said a really long time ago, uh, talking about his team being weak to fire, but then his team's also weak to flying, which he's got three weaknesses and technically four if you count that transform ditto, and his only resistance is Jirachi, so that's going back to what I'm saying is that Jirachi's most likely going to have to be defensive just so he yeah, doesn't get destroyed yeah. by bird spam. And like, and like, I feel like with. I feel like there's you, you often get um, things like he's, he's basically, he basically loses to Talonflame. Yeah, I was, well, yeah, was, was, was going to say that. Flying plus coverage for Drachi, like a, a scarf like, Raptor. Uh, you got to hit your bird spam. Yeah, basically what uh, JJ said. Basically, um, we have to do hurricanes if you hit them, and heat wave pretty much just decimate this team. It's making me realize oh, and, I don't oh, and, really have a sorry, bird. Sorry, you can go, Mike. I was making me realize that Mantine and Mega Altaria don't really class as birds, so I might need to go and grab a bird. Mike, this isn't about you. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just saying, I, I need a bird. <laughs> We're on to non zero. Yeah, I know, but I'm not about how a bird, <laughs> I need to get a bird to beat non zero without. Can, can, also, can, can we talk about these speed tiers? Because I, I, I think that's part In my of opinion, job. these are probably the second. Yeah, they're the second worst speed tiers in. in in the uh, in, in out of all the other teams, because he has so many um, ones. Basically, basically his speed tiers are either eighties or in the hundreds. Is, is he has my, two different speed tiers. And Mushana. Yeah. Like Mama Swine, Gudra. Yeah, Mama Swine, Gudra, um, Mega Gyarados. Yeah, in the eighties, and then Terrakion, Bliss, Falona, and Jirachi yeah. in the one hundreds. Gudra's yeah, faster exactly. than I thought. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Jirachi's a hundred. 400s. Yeah, so they're sort of like all around the same, and then and then Yeah, I mean, I guess really I guess Rabombi one two really four is decent. All right, let's get to the uh, the halfway, into the well into the top half, with number eight, which is Gengar Raichu, of the Route One Ooh. Raichus. So I had him quite high. I had him quite low, I think. Yeah, I, I had think, him. Yeah, I, I had him. I think I had yeah, him I second. No, I had Mike. I think I hit him second. second. Yeah. Are you okay, Mike? <laughs> I, I think I think Mike didn't realise the uh, one issue with his team. <laughs> yeah. Because because if that, if, if he fixed that issue, his team would actually probably rank. To be fair, Mega yeah. Morwell gets stealth rocks, <laughs> so <laughs> you can't really judge Mike too much. I mean, I I don't think that's that much of a problem on his team. He has Gly score for stealth rocks. He has Mega Mawile. I always think Tangler gets them, but he, it doesn't, does it? No. Uh, if Tangrowth got Stealth Rocks, it'd be I swear crazy. Tangrowth gets yeah. Stealth Rocks. No, because then Tangrowth gets Stealth Rocks, and no one would run AV. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, is I thought Tangrowth did get Stealth Rocks. Just take a <laughs> shot every time Mike... <laughs> exactly. Right. Every also, time Mike says, also, 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 shut up. <laughs> shut up for a second. <laughs> Shut up for a second, because it's not that much of a problem, be because dead. he has magic bounce, Espeon. And he I'm can just magic, magic bounce into anything, really Yes, you bounce. can. You're switching Espeon into the Stealth Rocks. 
So you're gonna switch in Espeon into something like a Landrastarian? No, because Landrastarian isn't gonna be using Stealth Rock Poxy because not everyone Rhyperia plays then. like you. Yes. I feel like Espeon's just a really bad psychic type because it just it just doesn't have the bulk. Yeah, but really. it's Espeon. fast and it hurts. Espeon is yeah, a psychic just... type that resists fighting. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's 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 really weird uh, fighting type, and I feel like exactly exactly what uh, Poxy said. You. You're gonna find it really hard to um, switch it in uh, most of the time because his spokes just really lack. Like he has. Personally, I don't think Stealth Rocks are the be all and end all to make a good team. Oh uh, no, I agree. That's not even my problem with his team. Also, if you, he has Araquanid for webs. Yeah, has... yeah. See, see, that's the that's the issue because this team pretty much has to bring webs almost every week because his fastest thing is Espeon. Uh, 110 and when you have mons like uh, mega more one Ho hooper on bound you really need like fast mons to pretty much um clean up what they can break <laughs> and he doesn't really have that right he has, he, he, right. he has zygarde 50 which somehow made it to the 16th pick of the draft yeah, I, I, I get, I get, he, I guess he has like which sets up okayish priority in um, zygarde and the um Arcanine, but like his like his actual speed itself is just really meh. Oh, well, let's like, talk most, about most, his speed like, tiers. His, yeah, his speed tiers they all Fine, but they, they also pretty, he has like how many? He has like three mons at like ninety five. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and then he has he Zygarde has, mons. And like they're huge mons. Zygarde fifty, Glide score. He also Arcanine. has a good exactly. trick room team though. He has a good trick room team. What's the uh, trick room setter? Hooper. That's fair. It doesn't yeah. Espeon get trick room. Yeah. yeah but... I was also thinking Cryogonal, but Cryogonal doesn't. Um, but Cryogonal is a spinner. Take another shot. <laughs> Cryogonal is a spinner. Um, yeah. It's, it's, uh, this team is also is... another team which doesn't have a grounded poison. It's... <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, I mean, they're not he's... crucial. But he has Espeon. No, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. Especially because he's got a magic bouncer. I do think that it's... Yeah, that's true, that's true. That... Also, Mega Mile is immune. Apparently you're going to be switching. Mega Mile's immune, Glistral's oh, immune, Electros is immune. Um, yeah, that's fair. He, he has decent Vault Turn. He has Rapid Spinners. He has Recovery on quite a few of his Mons. He has a ridiculous wall-breaking squad of Zygarde 50, Arcanine, Araquanid, Mega Marwile, and Hooper Unbound. Mm. And to a lesser extent, Mian Shao with High Jump Kick. Because High Mian Jump Kick is crazy well. good. Yeah, offensively. Yeah. Um, but I feel like he's probably going to have to bring that Scarf a lot uh, most weeks, I think. Yeah. Oh, also, right, I didn't realise Crokinol also has Defog as well as Rapid Spin if someone's yeah. going to load up on Ghost Types. This is uh, one of the things that I. Uh, Hi, JJ. Uh, this is one of the things that I spoiled about the team almost straight away, and there's just so much physical offense that this yeah, team has. Yeah, so I much. Agree. That's what I was thinking as well. But yeah. There's, it, it, there's, there's really so many way. other teams also have ridiculous physicals. Like, but, I, mean, like I mean, he's I, I, saying it's basically unbalanced. Yeah, but so is the, PAX, and so is Zeros to an extent. Well, that's that's why we that's why they're lower. <laughs> Yeah, right, yeah, okay. Well, like, yeah, but I'm saying. Like, Mega Morwell, Me and Shai, Zygarde 50, Araquanid, Arcanine, Gliscor, like, that's all his, like, high tier mons. And then Hoop yeah. Unbound is most likely going to have to be a special attacker then, which decreases how versatile it can be, just because he's got yeah. so many physical attackers. And yes, I know that Me and Shai can be a special attacker before you guys go off on me. And Arcanine as well. Well, yeah, he's a special but attacker. Primarily so, uh, they're physical. It, it's Ele Electros, Cryogonal. Espeon Tangler. Really. To be fair. Tangler's is But to be to be fair, you say yeah, they're all physical, but there's not even physical wolves, there's not a massive amount that's gonna be able to live up to Zygarde fifty Mega Mile Wild. Oh yeah, in terms of like around. physical spam, this is really good. And yeah, yeah. I, I sort of agree with Party's point that maybe like they, they I can see the argument that maybe these teams are slightly imbalanced in that aspect. But I don't, I don't think it's like a make or break sort of thing for his team. I just think uh, if he had like a special wall breaker, maybe one more or two more that yeah, could really complement his physical attackers, like he would be way up in the power rankings. For yeah, me. I feel like we I'm even another stealth like we all just hate Espeon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just, it's all just hate right. Espeon. What what if he had Reuniclus instead of Espeon? 
Will any be out of points? Because yeah, oh, yeah, one would be out of points, <laughs> two. Then, then it would be illegal for him to do that. Yeah, but you ob- yeah, but obviously switch that, out. That. Yeah, but switch out like me and Shao or something for an, another rocker. Give him more speed. That, that's that's my issue. It's just it's, hmm. he, he he just or, needs, he just or needs just one remove thing. Just remove thing what speed he does do. have and make it fully trick room. Oh, full full tricks. Mm. Go go I, curse I curse Zygarde fifty. You you have you pretty much have to like um, when you're using full trick room you pretty much have to like deploy it smartly because if you trick room at the wrong time and then you and then you don't get the sweep off um, yeah. it, you lose so much momentum from it. It's trick room so short though. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I don't know much about Gengar's play style or his ability as a coach, but. If he could, if he's good with like really good offense, then he should do really well. Yeah, yeah. I I feel I feel like generally he's 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 built pretty well around the uh, mega ball. Well. Like defensive wise, he's he's got a lot of uh, ground immunities and a lot of things that can take fire hits fairly well. Yeah, I think if you get like. It, Sorry, and like, even st- even stuff like Cardinal is quite useful because he has two mons which are super weak to ice. Oh yeah, that's that's also one of my other problems. Just as yeah. uh, ground types are both four times weak to ice. Yeah, yeah. And so, they're both around the same speed tier. Yeah, so. and yeah, but he he has he has Arcanine, Araquanid, Cryogonal, and Mega Marwile, all for ice types. And a lot yeah. of times, Electros is assault vested, and won't take much from like an ice beam or something. But does yeah. it take a banded war time? Do you, should we go back and uh, do like a recap of all the teams so far? Uh, no, because I can't be bothered. Okay. Uh, on to number seven. <laughs> also, we wow. should have done that before this one when we were halfway. Has no, well, well, no, it's, it's still not impossible. Right. Number seven. That's uh, so sorry, guys. Is... No, I tried. Okay, I tried. JP but Mike said no. JP if you can't keep and up, the it's fault. Yeah. If you can't keep up, then pause the video. Get a grip. Yeah. Exactly. Go back, pause the video at each slide. <laughs> right, so JP of the Ben Finions, as soon as I can find his team on here. Oh, wait, wait, guys, 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 wait, 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 guys, I completely forgot to uh, a point on, um, it's a really important point on Avocado's team. Can, can we go back? <sighs> Avocado's team. All right, uh, this, this is specifically from Cav. He wanted me to say, uh, Chandelure is shit and he should have picked Simis here. Okie dokie, that's why right, Cav isn't on back comms. So, <laughs> oh, yes, the time for that. That's, oh, that, was, that was really important. I, I needed to get Chandel- that across. JP. Chandelier is good. Uh, I think the thing that, that I, the thing I put when I saw JP was uh, utility, was the main thing. Uh, Toxapex, Donphan, Fortress, Heatran, Togekiss are all good mons for either getting rid of hazards or making sure hazards are up. He has Z Darkrai, which is a great special attacker. Um, what is it? No nasty plot, no sleep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then he has Mega Kang. Z Darkrai is broken. Which is, there's no there's no there's nothing on Mega Kang, is there? <laughs> Um, was there, was no there... seismic toss. No seismic toss. Okay, it's, it's not on the yeah. dock, so I wasn't sure. Um, uh, so yeah, Mega Kang, great physical attacker. Tar- Dark Rai, great special attacker. Uh, Hacturus, great physical attacker. Heatran, great special attacker. After that, it's kind of sort of bulk. Yeah, it, it, with the it, exception it, it, of Alolan Raichu. Uh, I don't know what Alolan right is really there for, to be honest. Uh, fighting. Also, Poxy, you realise you're talking to a screenshot, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was in the chat. Um, <laughs> okay, no, Alolan right is a psychic type, though. Like, yeah, but... Yeah, and I think he, he needed the speed. He needed the speed. Yeah. 
because otherwise it's, it goes from uh, Dark Cry to Mega yeah. Kang. But it's like you're, you're it's talking just... you're talking about Raichu as a psychic type, like it's not as frail as Espeon. Like Alolan Raichu dies. It, oh to yeah, everything. it is. It is. But I'm saying I'm saying um, he, like I'm okay with it because he just needed that speed. Yeah, it also is electric type, so that's his vault switcher other than Fortress. Oh, so I checked this, so I'm 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 pretty sure I'm going to be right this time and not screw it up. Five ones, weak to ice, and yes, I know he has heat ran. So Don Fan, Gorgeist, Chatot, Togekiss, and Haxorus. Yep. Yeah, and then his yeah. his, I mean, his resistance like, I, I, is. I know I know he has like he, he has Toxapex, and heat Toxapex ran. Fortress, and heat ran. I found my mama swine. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah exactly. See, yeah. um, the only, usually, the only yeah, thing like, that... if you have stuff like heat tran and toxic, usually you wouldn't have a huge problem, but it's just that he has five mons that week to that, which just, which is almost half his team. That's the point. Actually, there's only one mon on his team that doesn't get hit specially effective by one of Mamasine's standard set. Yeah, and that's Fortress. <laughs> Um, and then, and another thing is that he only has one rock resist, so uh, you know. Gorgost. Uh no, it's the Heatran. Uh Dompa. <laughs> <laughs> Close mic. <laughs> oh, sorry, I thought you meant like stealth rocks. Oh no, no, yeah, sorry, no, uh, yeah, just like rocks. Yeah. I always forget yeah, that, that um, grass is ground and not rock that resists. Yeah, yeah. Um Yeah, so yeah, but that's so basically like, on spam. I, Rock spam pretty much hurts him a lot. Yeah. Um, Obviously, talk spikes. To be fair, everything. Fortress isn't going to take much. Yeah, I mean, for, the thing Unless with Fortress like is power just gem, I guess. Chip. I, power I'm, gem. I'm not a huge fan of it. It's just, yeah. it's just there. I mean, it's, it, I, it's okay on this team because it's not as only steel if, type. If yes, Fortress like had recover, it would be a lot better. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I'm okay with it on this team. I, I think it gives that's him... why Theraphorn edges it. Is because of like leech seed and stuff like that. Yeah, and, I mean Fortress gives uh, uh, gives him the slow momentum into stuff like Dark Cry or Mega yeah. Kang. And I mean Gyroball from Fortress is not to be underrated. What are the uh, knockoff users on this team? Uh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. fan. I want to say Haxorus, uh, but I don't think it does. And no, I think Mega Kang. Packs, yeah. Take uh, another no. shot. Mega Mega Kang. <laughs> Does Talks of X get a uh, knockoff? No, it gets SmackDown. Oh, okay. So, okay, in that Sorry. case, in that uh, case, yeah, Dark Cry, which you're very rarely gonna run physical. I, I can't say that because I ran it physical twice last season. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. You ran it twice out of the seven I had. You ran it physical for some And um. Yeah, and uh, you can run it on Dompan, but of, yeah, pretty much Mega Kang, Rock, uh, Rocky Helmet's going to be a huge weakness from it. So he has to keep that in mind. Yeah. Sorry, I'm yawning. Um, <laughs> how does he. Actually, no, I was going to say, how does he hit Steel's Wab? But I guess it's Dompan and Heatran. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Dumbhan's alright. And Haxorus gets like Earthquake and, and Superpower and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I think he's like an aspect. And Heatran can be run offensively as well. Yeah, exactly. He might struggle it's with the like like team. Heatran's probably going to be more offensive on this team. But I, I guess it's JP. But I mean, for normal people, Heatran <laughs> yeah. would be more offensive on this team. If JP. Yeah. Uh, well, he, he I has. Loved it, I wouldn't be surprised. He has Togekiss. So to go with it, which I guess is kind of his only synergy with each run, really, is the token kiss. Yeah, but it's yeah I kind think token is really good on this team, uh, because perfect. stuff like Scar fighting types really hurt, and stuff like Dark Cry yeah. and uh, Mega Kang, so I think they're four times worse than token kiss. Let's go on this. Rick has goose down. What's his response to. Well, uh, oh, yeah, I think yeah, yeah, so. Alan, sorry. I, I was about to say what's the response oh, to that, but then I guess it talks back. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gorgos, never mind. chat on. Because oh. let's, let's be honest, the only, re <laughs> the only reason he's this high up is he's got Z Chatot. Yeah, of course, of course. So yeah. Chatot well. gets knocked like, twice over by a Gotariam as close combat. 
I'll so give it a mine. Say, that's right, a... right, but how, yeah, but there you how, go, Has. How yeah, is... Um, spoilers, what? <laughs> Tell me how Harry Armour is living as he chatter. You can't, okay. On to number six. <laughs> the death, it's, it's pretty decent bold. And number six. Yeah, that's all best. We have... Yeah, hang, hang, give, give me a second, Mike. Let me... We're moving no, on, yeah, anyway. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Number six, the London Loipen Rock, we have Cav. Who a has a lovely team uh, with a couple of slight problems here and there, um, but has. Ah, oh, that's embarrassing. So, what's that? To be fair, I said chatter of all things. Um, <laughs> yeah, that is chatter. Yeah, no, I was no, I was joking. Oh, I was saying yeah, chatter. You, also, that's not nice. special attack plus, please. Um, oh, okay. I'm I'm sorry. I'm just, yeah. Right. Let's move on to. Let's actually do cats. That makes all the difference. Um, <laughs> Poxy, makes like two percent. Poxy, <laughs> talk us through Cavs team. Cavs team just okay. This is gonna be weird, but it reminds me like Cavs team always just it always looks so similar. <laughs> like you just know it's being team. built by hand. Just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the first we said. There's like ah, oh, Cavs really use this well. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I looked at this team and I was like, yeah. Like, Cav, can, Cav can only use like a certain team, but he uses that team really, yeah. really well. Uh -huh. he okay, has... so I've got two critiques for this team. Go on. Right. First one is the speed tiers. The yeah. gap oh, between what Red Eternal. Yeah. Night... What, what are you talking about? Nothing what are you talking about? What a shock. You I've about... been critiqued about my speed tiers so much, I've just learned to just get on with it and just critique other people. So there's a gap in the speed tiers between Flore Eternal 92, Nick Yacht, 121. Yeah, yeah, so that's like I was, 30 yeah, speed. I, yeah, I noticed that too, yeah. So that's like 30 speed and like, like yeah. speed tiers are usually around like 85 to 115. That's like the sweet spot. And he's already lost about like two thirds of exactly. that speed. Just yeah, yeah. The, 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 the thing is, right, now 100 is like one of the most common like speed tiers. So if you don't have a mon around there, you're gonna really, really struggle. Um, like people can run, it. people can run their 110s, 115s, adamant or modest now, yeah, exactly. and that yeah. really hurts the team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So his, I guess his speed is Coco, Pidgeot, Excadrill, and like, Sand. Like his, like his high, his high speed's really, really good. But what, what, was just, yeah. what, what was what was Flowet's speed? Uh, 92. 92. Yeah. Which isn't. Mm, yeah, I guess he needs like a scarf on it. Um. Oh, and he, then, has a, he has a Salgor as well for the speed as well. Another thing they liked about this team was that it's a predictable sort of like you got Mega Pidgeot, Exodrill, oh, yeah. Hippodon, yeah. Ambor, a Salgor. But, uh, but, but Cav, there is always Nature Power Amoongus. Yes. That's what yeah. I was going to say is he has a Amoongus with a Tapu. Like, shock horror. That happened. Now, if you guys want to see Nature Power Amoongus and really, <laughs> no, no, really no, do some no, no. I mean, the thing is, though, it's on it's on Coco, so it's going to be an electric move, so it's going to hit a water type, which he hits anyway. Or you can hit some, like, a it's Holucha. A fighting, yeah. <clears throat> so, see, I mean, Holucha's going to kill it anyway. The thing is, I, I when I was, when I was doing the draw, Barry. and I was thinking about where am I going to put people on PRs, like... At round, I'd say maybe nine, I was like, okay, Cav's gonna be like top three probably. And then he drafted Excelgore and Glaceon. Yeah. Now there's, like... two, there's two sides to this. The w first side is that he doesn't have a dark type or a ghost type, so psychic types can be demolished this team. Right. And, and the other side is. Psychic resist why would you is, pick Glaceon? Yeah, and, why would you pick Glaceon and not Leafion? Oh, of course, yeah. He doesn't yeah. have a grass type. He's, Mega Tyrannosaurus struggles. Yeah, he, well, he doesn't, have a, he doesn't have a grass... Oh, he does have a grass type. Never mind. I forgot about him. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, the, the, okay, thing is, the thing is, like, Entire. on the other hand, Selgor gives him uh, spikes and T-spikes, uh, which I think uh, really help things yeah. like Coco. And, uh, and Milotic, Milotic yeah, and Amoongus yeah, is a really good defense, yeah. of course. He yeah. has a grand and... poison. And, well, uh, hey! Yeah, Can we yeah, really I think... blame people? 
I mean, so, Oak's been taking all the poison types. Yeah, so, really true. blame people like, if they the, don't have like, to find like, poison. There's so many teams without branded poison. It's just, Honest, honestly, it's just Oak taking everything. <laughs> honestly, I think I might just bring poison spikes against uh, Oak just for the joke. Yeah, just for the means. Oh, <laughs> God. I'm gonna set oh, up no. Three layers. Cro oh, no, Crobats. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you? What, did anyone, does anyone want to get soak? Because then, I mean, what who, of whose mons? Oh no, that one won't. That one won't. Never mind them. No, because they'd already be in. Yeah, when you switch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, as I was saying, uh, if he didn't get Glacier on Howard, his team would be pretty weak twice. But I know he is melodic. And but he, he would. Ha he would have a fairly. Uh, Suspect ice weakness. Yeah, it's melodic in Emperor. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. everyone else is weak to ice. So I think there's two sides to it. I mean, I mean, I, Spirit Tune's still there. Yeah, maybe and, that instead of of the Assault Gore. And then yeah, and then you can you can get a five A. Maybe maybe, maybe a dark type with with hazards. I don't know if there's yeah, any down there. Like, it, yeah, you, you, it's a tough one, really. It depends on what, like, what he prefers. Unfortunately, he's not here with us. Yeah, so but we have we we, we still have JJ. The only, the only thing he has for ghost types is Mega Pidgeot. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Because I think does or does. Yeah, I think I, I think I think he's just gonna struggle. Let, with let me just like. check my fairy resistances because I still don't know what they are after however long. This game. Uh, fire, poison, steel. No, that's weaknesses. I said resistances. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fire, poison, steel. That's resist. You're not. You're not listening to what I'm saying. I'm it means Wafe resists. What? Yes. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, um, bug fighting, dark. I can some mean. Bug fighting dark. Yeah. So yeah, sorry. he doesn't have. He doesn't have a ghost resist. He just has a ghost immunity. Yeah. That's Mega Pidgeot. And that's why you get a dark type. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the crucial thing we would see. I think I think he just needs a I think I think he needs a dark type. Tier five B could he get as a dark Arcrow. type? But then he becomes really weak to ice. Arcrow. Uh, it's just, uh it's, I think Life Pod's five uh, no, five pods probably five A. Poracat? It's a, like, yeah, maybe it's you know, yeah, not, maybe not. <laughs> it's a thing. Terrible. It gets flame charge. Lipod. Lipod doesn't. This is really... Lipod five B. I, I don't know. I no, was... Lipod's yeah. a five A. Lipod would actually be really good for a save because it hits the one oh five speed tier, so that solves his uh, speed tier issues. Mm. Not really, but yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean no, you know, theoretically, it bridges the gap slightly, a bit more. It's like me running through I mean, bad as my. I mean, like a, a psychic type would <laughs> work as well. Maybe well, some... Light bar could do something. Something like a meow stick would work. Because that gives you sort of it gives you screens. It gives you a psychic resist. Uh, that's that's not go that's not a ghost resist. That's a ghost weakness. Yeah, but it's a psychic. Yes. And psychic yeah. psychic <laughs> is a problem as well. Yes, yeah, so it's a psychic guess. <laughs> no, it's a psychic resist, and psychic is a problem as well because there's only psychic switch in his excadrill. So why doesn't he just get a dark type down? Yeah. When you just yeah, get but I'm saying, but if there's if there's no fucking dark types, fucking listen. <laughs> oh, you know what? I just you know what? No, I ice type five B, ice type resist, dark type resist, poniard, sorted. All right. There. Moving on. There Number five, JJ. Someone get him in, JJ, for this monstrosity of a team. Alright. Uh, I guess first three picks were insane. Yeah. yeah. I know. Zorora, Hydreigon, Dalmise. Ridiculous. Uh, what do I have? No, I, I meant uh, Zorora, Tornado, Stary, and Malafi. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was joking. I was joking. Well, right, Mike JJ. messed up so much, I don't JJ. know. JJ, <laughs> explain your team. What? You're your team. Your team. What about your team? Why, why is it so bad? They're really fast and really strong. That's all I got. <laughs> you sounded so, oh, so, you sounded so <laughs> southern then. Well, I took one of first. Or no, it was Roar, obviously. So, yeah, I was yeah. at the back end of the draft, and I was like, hey, 
you know, I want to, I, me and Haz obviously talked about it a lot. I was like, I want the roar really bad. And I just want to use it. And I want, because I helped Mike play with it last year, like once. And he got like four kills in the match I helped. I'm not trade to it. And it was amazing. And I wanted to, I was like, hey, I want to use it. Yeah. So I picked it up. And I was like, hey, what goes good with Aurora? And I was like, there, and then nobody took, well, Tornadoes was fell. And I was like, hey, I like that turkey bird. And so I scooped up Tornadoes, even though he's dead to me now. <laughs> uh, spoilers. Spoilers. I'll be honest, I've, I've always struggled yeah. making Tornadoes actually work. Dude, he no, it, dude, he works himself. You don't need to make him work, especially it being my Z user. Like, he puts in the finest to work. Yeah, I yeah. mean, obviously, That's... like if we're talking about the match I had for zero, but like he he insane. was my win con. I put him in a position. I could. I'm looking back at it. I should have just knocked off three times, and that would have yeah. did the damage I needed. Yeah. But come on, or, you're telling me I'm gonna miss three alleg hurricanes alleg in a row? Allegedly. Because the week one game's definitely yeah. half the yeah. knife by now. Yeah. Yes. Has. Has. I don't care. Has. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Right. Regardless, uh, Manaphy, I mean, Manaphy does what Manaphy does. Yeah. I think I was also working speed tiers here because I, I think I scooped up Hydreigon before Manaphy. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Um, so I had, what, Hydreigon at 98, Tornadoes at 121, and Zoror, uh, or whatever you want to call it, at 143. Yeah. Oh, got it wrong. So I was like, okay, so what's good now? And I was like, hey, I'm going to cover with a base 100. You're like, and he's perfect there. He also gets me set up. Um, I don't remember really what I took after that, like actually in order. Uh, but yeah, well, I grabbed Inferno well, too, which is what? Inferno Infer Infer Apex excites me more. 118, I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, um, my speed tiers are awesome. I have the yeah, power. Quagsire. I need a fighting type. I, yeah, Quagsire for uh, any setup that doesn't have Mold Breaker, obviously. That's why you didn't come first. Uh, I'm, I'm the speed. Yeah, yeah, right. Talk us through Mega Steelix. Yeah, a Mega. I mean, Mega Steelix is a clean Mega. It does what it needs to do. It's defensive. It gets up rock. It hits things hard. Uh, again, you can see it in the Zero game, where it took a. I think it, what it takes. It took an earthquake from somebody. And it, fine, maybe. And it gives you loads of free points. Yeah, and it, exactly. And it let me. Well, it let me grab Infernape. So that was the key. So it let it let me afford Infernape, which I needed a, a good fighting and fire type. So and uh, Infernape fit that role perfectly. Has the docks broken? Because it says Mega Steelix is free. What do you mean free? Like if you look on the on the. No, uh, it says minus forty. No, no. If you look on the tiers. All right. Oh, you probably tiers. didn't type it in right. You probably didn't type it in right. That's. Yeah, sake, I, I probably didn't do it, but, but yeah. So I mean, I love this team. This is actually my probably my favorite team I've drafted besides season one, because that season one team was busted. Um, oh yeah. No, yeah, this, to do, I'm, I'm excited to use this team, and uh, like I already playing with it once, and I had, uh, and it was just so flexible already. So I'm excited to play more games with it for sure. Okay. JJ, I have one. I have one question for you specifically. I also have one question. Uh, uh, I never uh, draft areas. I know. Oh, well, Mike. I mean, right. sorry, has. Uh, you can go first, though, Mike. Okay, my question is, why did you draft Delmise, which is the same typing and has the same utility as Decidueye, the Pokemon you constantly say is ass? <laughs> because it's not because, bad. Because it gets good hypocrisy. Because oh. Delmise is bull curing gets rapid spin. Next question. Yeah, it, yeah and it actually hit hard. Yeah. Where we, we uh, saw it take a Rockinium Z uh, from Terrakion and Oko it. So. Awesome. Now Mice can set up both ways. That's oh, right, sorry, Decidueye can set up both ways. Yeah, but Decidueye can mm -hmm. get Decidueye knocked out both ways. But Decidueye's not good. Has, has your fair question. Enough, <laughs> All right, my question is that this that there's a lot of elements to this team that remind me of your Season 4 team, in which it's pretty top-heavy, would you agree? Like that you have a lot of like really high-tier mons, and you have a lot of lower-tier mons. Um, I think I did Do better with, with my lower tier. Um, can you go ahead and quickly read, read who's my uh, tier fives and fours? Uh, Mesprit, Vanillux, Quagsire, Wigglytuff, yeah. and Mega Steelix. Okay, so yeah, so I think I think Mesprit comes to a lot a lot of games. I think it has a lot of good defensive utility. I think it supports. Um, I think it gets Dealing Wish as well. It's a good awesome tier four. For, it's a good tier four. Uh, yeah, it's a yeah. great tier four. I think it's coming in a lot of games. Let me that. Um, I think that. I mean, I don't mind being top heavy. I think being top heavy is fine if you're. But I think I balanced my top heaviness well, um, yeah. defensively and offensively better this year. It's not like where the mons are great individually, but I think this team is great as a core. Yeah. And they all switch around each other very well um, with U-turns and both switches because every mon gets it, basically. So, was, like, I, 
So you know, because my, my one criticism I had with your team in Season 4 is that I feel like you had a lot of decent... Um, the lower tier ones which you drafted were pretty decent for their value. But I feel like besides maybe, like, Torterra in one game, I think, got a kill. Um, yeah. Yeah, as a bandit. I don't think you used them quite as well as you maybe could have. And I feel like you are maybe more comfortable with yeah, uh, your higher tier mods. Yeah, I mean, I'm. In, I mean, again, I'm going to be more comfortable with my high tier mods. But I think. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, it's a given. But I, I'm saying that maybe that. Right. I feel like to get the most out of your team, um, you need to pretty. You need to feel comfortable. Some maybe sometimes bringing, um, maybe Wigglytuff or Quagsire. Right. Games. No, they're, they're, I mean, Quagsire is definitely going to come. Oh, yeah, 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 Quag, yeah, Quagsire. Uh, but I think that's what I'm saying. I didn't draft a mon like Torterra where. It's not great defensively, but Quagsire can come in any game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or not in toxic uh, anything. Meth, meth break can come in any game. Wall of certain mods, deal out toxic thunder waves, things like that, and you know healing wish and heal Manaphy back up to set up again or, or something like that. So mm -hmm. I think that um, the team is a lot more balanced than my top heavy team in season four. Mm -hmm. uh, why, I, why I, I weekly think tough. This team actually supports uh, Mega Steelix very well because it's a bulky wish factor. Uh, well, not bulky as far as its defensive yeah, go, but it's, it's, it's 145 HP. I think. Yeah. So, so if I, if I, even if I throw up a wish, and you know, barely, and it barely lives a hit, and I can go into Steelix, that has just walled like an entire team, like, and just get a fat wish off, it's gonna you do its job well. I mean, and I just needed a fairy type just so people can't drag and spam all the time. Yeah, base um, 140. Yeah, I mean, dude, that HP is crazy for wish. Not and if I just run a certain though. set, you never know. So. Any other questions, boys? Uh, uh, I, I, I have uh, my only other crits. Uh, Z ice about cream. That 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 your uh, speed tier. Um, you said you had good speed tiers, but there's uh, one little slight problem is that uh, your speed tier from Vanillox goes from 79 to uh, Wigglytuff, which is 45. I don't care about that. <laughs> that's that's almost a 35 uh, difference. So so you're caring about the lower speed tiers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lower oh, speed is on, awesome. Honest, honestly, you have either a really fast team, or you have a great trick room team, and nothing in between. Yeah, because the problem is, it just means that, like, maybe like bulkier mons, that say mons like Celesteela, for example, don't need to be, they don't need to speed creep anything. Right. Yeah, they have to get one I mean, shot by Zerora. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I do just an I example. Just an example. I mean, yeah, that's, I mean, that's like one thing you maybe need to keep in mind. Yeah. I mean, both of your teams in, in teams like that, I don't really see faring well against my momentum and my speed. That's like, fair. I mean, it, it, it's tough. It's tough to it's, it's tough to run bulk against momentum just because every time you switch in, you know, I switch out. So it's I don't know. I, I agree. I, I understand where you're coming from, but yeah, I yeah, uh, but I mean, versus teams, I'm running specs in in bands instead of you know scarfs in that everybody else is running, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah, I, I, I get, I get I'm, you. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm running bands and specs on everything, which, uh, I mean, I, we didn't see in against like Zero, but I mean, it's gonna. I, I, I think this team's gonna be fine. I think I'm gonna make playoffs pretty handily. You mean, you mean so, we, we, we won't see against non-Zero when you? Oh well, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. When you team build. <clears throat> yeah, when I team build, <laughs> then this, breaking the sixth wall. Good to see uh, you. And then. Uh, yeah. uh, the other issue I have with your team, which uh, sort of was a bit unlucky, because I think it was a snipe from Poxy, was that you don't have a grounded poison. Um, and then I noticed yeah, your... Late, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. And I mean, then I noticed I you actually... <laughs> I sniped everyone, so... Yeah. yeah I love that, I think your team is pretty is, solid. Is your, really so is your only removal... I don't because I'm so fast. Is your only removal down mice? Tornado, uh, and on. Yeah, yeah, but Hydragon. Like, yeah. Hydragon. Is it your only, like, actual removal? Because Hydragon doesn't Tornado count. runs Debug 24-7. Yeah. 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 Yeah, sorry, to and Tornado's like, and, and Hydragon, yeah. and Hydragon, oh, like, Hydragon. Uh, Scarf is usually its best set. And oh. which you won't, will, won't see against Zero is I run Hydragon in fun ways. Yeah. Okay. So, now we'll okay. stop talking about JJ. All right, back to my rabbit hole. All right. Let's move on to number four, which is the AFC Iaxorus, or MX3. Okay, let me just start by saying, uh, this is, like we said with Cav, this is an MX3 team. Just like Cav is a Cav team, this is an MX3 team. Yeah. 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 It's basically just yeah. all offensive things, yeah. and then the rest is just fast. It's like, it's like, right, so I've got a Clefable, 
that walls everything. Now, what can I have <laughs> that kills everything that kills yeah. the fable? I'll make a galley. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so what walls everything that kills Mega Galley? Oh, Skarmory. Scar okay, yeah, right. Yep. So, and then what? <laughs> you no, know what? What mon do I feel like can hit like a truck? Okay, uh, Noivern sorted. Um, Noivern doesn't hit that hard. I mean, it does when it's zero. They know if it kind of does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't, don't bring it up. It's bad name. Also, uh, that... Mike, you had, MX, you had MX3 at night. Um, yeah, I'll get onto that in a minute. Okay, just sure. Just for that. Um, I That's forgot fun. to mention on mine, I don't have any Z users yet. Because I'm waiting. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Waiting can, from, can, we, can, we, can we quickly... Um, I'm waiting for my that. trades to come through. Okay, can, can, can we quickly go up that? Because I think... I think if you... I think if you... I don't think Weevil is your best uh, choice as a Z user. Scholopede. I think Scolopede is better than Weevil. Yeah, I because potentially I wanted to. Basically, I wanted to wait until I had my full team before I decided, and it was hard to visualize it with all the other mons in there. But when when Weevil is in and Metagross and Superior are gone, uh, spoilers, and replaced by Need of King and Celebi, spoilers. Uh -huh. Then, then I'll be able to properly make a decision. I might do Weavile. I might do Scolopede. I because might do I, I, King Clang. All I say is ask Hughes. I was like, as soon as Hughes made Z Who? Scolopede the Z user, he basically oh, yeah. just teared up. Right, anyway, Jirachi. back back to <laughs> MX3 and the Iaxorus. Um, he's got Mad Bulk, Inclefable, yep. Skarmory, Swampert, Rotom Heat. Half the same. Uh, he has mad offense with Mega Gallade, Gengar, Clefable, Noivern, Swampert, Diggers Below, Skuntank. I like a good banded Skuntank. Uh, but yeah, he has he has lots of rocks. Yeah, yeah, he has two. He has basically two of the best rock users, uh, self rock setters in the game, in my opinion. Yeah, Skarmory and Skuntank. Scon tank. Yeah. He has three defoggers. No, four defoggers? Four. He has four. He has four. Skarmory, uh, Skarmory, Skarmory, Rotom Heat. Uh, Scon tank. Yeah. Uh, he has. Uh, <sighs> while it's not really a hazard or anything, I like to think of Leech Seed in the same regards of it's just chip. On pretty much everything, obviously except a ghost, uh, a grass type, um, yeah. which he has in Shaman. Um, he has uh, Volt Turn in yeah. uh, Noivern, Lantern, Rotom Heat, um, Diggers B, kind of Skarmory, I think. Yeah, he has a little double typings, but I think they all synergize quite well. Yes. In the end. Yeah. He has a grounded poison. That's one that very, I'm kind of surprised good. he got to pick up. Yes. I think Skontank's really important for this team because without it, I think he just really struggles in bulky psychic types. Yeah. I know he has Gengar, but Gengar can't switch into psychic types for obvious reasons because it's part in of. Fact, yeah, he has two grounded poisons. How's he done that? Yeah, yeah, he's taken one mad foe. I but, think, um, I think yeah. the Z Gengar is actually a really interesting one. I think Z Gengar's bad. Yeah, it's it's well, an interesting. I feel like, I feel like he should have gone uh, three Z users. I think I yeah. think Newton's probably his best option than Z, but then I think he maybe should have gone. Um... I mean Z Diggersby. Uh, Diggersby kind of runs. Crowning in yeah, Z. Yeah, choice yeah. Quite yeah. Yeah. Choice I think maybe he should have just gone uh, three Z users. In my opinion. Shaman Noivern. It's not a terrible Z user. Pardon? Shaman. Oh. Yeah, I was shaming, or I mean, Rotom Heat's not a terrible Z user. Yeah, yeah, Rotom Heat's alright, even though we gave Stick Glass on. Because you get Z overheat. Yeah, exactly. If, if he drafts Shaman, Noivern, and Lantern, those are three pretty good Z users. Because yeah, yeah, Lantern with Z Heal Bell can be good. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, Z Heal Bell, Lantern would be quite nice. Yeah. Especially um, like maybe the more bulkier aspect to his team. He actually has, yeah, he has two clerics, really. Um. And then and then a lot of other recovery in there mixed in with other stuff. Oh, uh, by the Wish way, if MX if MX three is watching this, uh, I just want to say that um, that that 
I, I know I play you week two, and I know I've just uh, criticised Z Gengar, but if you bring it, I know exactly <laughs> what Z move it's going to be. So I'm just letting you know. Don't, don't try to do the. Z oh, wow. Oh, Z, Z Neuven's a great Z user, because I <laughs> killed you with a Z move, even though the normal move killed anyway. Um, JP. And, you said it did, and you said it didn't hurt. Um, but yeah, also, I kind of wanted to see, I want to see him bring power up Punch Swampert all week. Yeah. Mainly because I've been trying to do that in a league and it's just not worked out. Um, but he has a lot of immunities for stuff. He has, he has, he has three ground immunities. He has, he has the electric he two has, electric uh, immunities. One water immunity. Although it's the same as yeah. one of his electric immunities. Yeah, in fact, yeah. he has four electric immunities. No. What did I say? He has three electric immunities. Oh, yeah, because he's uh, Diggers. Because Diggers yeah. And he has a ghost immunity as well. With Diggers as well. Um, Dragon immunity, obviously, because he's got a fairy. Um, I look, You look at MX3's team, and it's just very solid. It synergizes as well. There's not a lot of mons. Or, there's not a lot of types that you go, you, like, you look at his team and go, that would run through you. Because he just has like practically two of everything. I want to ask JJ's opinion on something, but I don't think he's. I don't think he's a, a around at the moment. I, th I think what, the the only thing you... that he might struggle with is a flying type that has coverage for either Skarmory or Lantern. I don't know if there are many of those. Maybe like a Talonflame. Talonflame. Oh, uh, like with... Zapdos. What yeah. opinion of mine, even? Yeah, but Zapdos. Oh, sorry, um, I, was, I was just about to ask you. You know, last season, how um, you criticised MX Freeze um, special offense. Yep. What do you think about it this season? Uh, I don't have the team in front of my face. Uh, Clefable, Gengar, Shaman, Noivern, oh, okay. Lantern, Rotom Heat. Uh, That's what's it. Pretty poor. Um, I would say he's going to need a lot of help. Breaking certain things. Yeah, he has like. I mean, it's, he has it's like, flexible. He has one wall breaker, and it's his mega. Yeah, it's, uh, it's... a wall breaker. I yeah, guess, yeah I, I guess Digger's Digger's yeah. definitely a wall breaker, and I guess in some circumstances. Um, it's bad, but it can be flexible. Like it can surprise a lot of teams. Yeah. But that's about it. What's your opinion yeah. on Z Gengar and Z Noivern? Uh, Z Noivern, I'll thumb. It's okay. Uh, it's alright, but uh, Z Gengar is interesting. I think it needs a lot of items. Yeah, exactly. Good. That's my issue. Um, it, it, it needs the item more. Well, for him to, to wall break a lot, I think he might need to be spec or something yeah. like that kind of set. So, um, so we haven't yeah, actually done okay. it properly this this episode of, of uh -oh. Power Rankings. But if, if you were to do a, a Fix My Team and it was just Z special, what would you potentially change his Z users to be? What, what do we got? Uh, the team's in the chat. He's got Clefable, Gengar, Shaman, Noivern, Lantern, Skarmory, Rotom Heat, Swampert, Skuntank, and Diggersby. That's all terrible. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's not many great options to be fair. We were thinking Shaman, Noivern, and Lantern. Yeah, because Nan uh, Lantern gets uh, Z heal bar, which means he gets... I like uh, Shaman a lot. I like Lantern a lot because I think that gives Lantern also the power to break through some things. Yeah. What, what's the base That's power on well. on uh, Seed Flare Bloom Doom? Probably 180. Yeah, it's probably around that. It's, it's high. I don't yeah, know exactly. but it's not that much higher than the actual base move, is it? Plus also Seed Flare, you get 40% chance to drop the special defense. Yeah. yeah. Although 85% accuracy. It, it's, like, it's 190. Yeah, 190. Yeah, Lantern, and then. I actually prefer. Rot as, as Z. Yeah, I, I run okay too. I mean, there's not a lot of good options there, so. Yeah. Because at least I with mean, Rotom Heat, you can, use, you can use a fire move out uh, lowering your special attack. I mean, what are you, I mean, what are you bringing on Rotom Heat anyway, item wise? Leftovers? I mean, you're bringing leftovers probably 90% of the time. Yeah, maybe sometimes. That Z is nice. I think that Z would be good. Yeah, a trick. Yeah, a trick scarf. But I think that Z would be nice for for Rotom. Better than Gengar. I think Gengar just needs, like, you know, 
an item every week, some kind of item, air balloon or whatever the case may be. Choice specs, probably the most. Yeah. But. Right, uh, I think that's pretty much... I can do, I can also see Scarf Gango coming quite a lot on this scene. Yeah, yeah. I agree, there too. But th that's the problem though with his special attackers, is he doesn't have very many wall breakers. Yeah. Right. Okay, so, he um, doesn't have, like, set up wall breakers. Yeah. yeah. I could dig his feet. Clefable. They were like on the special side of me. Oh, Clefable. Special side. Yeah, Clefable. Nothing, yeah, nothing on the special side. Clefable. 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 Well, I mean, that's more stored just like power a setup, to, um, Stored power or combined stored power. Well, stored, yeah. Yeah, well, stored power when it gets up to like, times, you know, three three times power. It's not, it's not even a special move anymore, it's just stored power. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter what, if it's special or physical, it's breaking through stuff if, if you let Clefable get off. So. Uh, what, another thing is, is I mean, lowest monster fable at 60, so I think um, uh, maybe Trick Room could be a bit of an issue. Yeah. Potentially. Tell you what, didn't realise, completely off topic, but Neuvern gets yeah. Moonlight. Oh, well, it doesn't get roost anyway. So it gets it yeah, I just, I just surprised it got Moonlight. <laughs> uh, just, uh, that's an interesting trivia. Yeah. When anyway. That, when that moon's up, it'll sure get some nice heals from it. That's the thing, actually. Taunt, taunt might do work against MX3. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, that's what yeah, I was thinking. I, yeah, exactly. Well, isn't that, it's base. It's that, that's what happens with the MX3 team. It's just yeah. Click. I've, I've been. I, I, I got told that about JP's team as well, but we didn't mention it when we went past. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's all sort of the givens. Uh, yeah. So on to number three. And God knows how he's managed to do ah, it. He's very, he sneaked his way through well, there. I say God knows he's how he's managed to do it. He, he's done it by stealing every one that I wanted. <laughs> it's Parksy. I mean, I think we can all be sure that even though he's free right now, he's definitely not going to end here. No, he's, he's, he's probably going to finish <laughs> this far okay. off the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I think, right. I think we're okay in knowing he's only going to be here for a week. Right, so... <laughs> Parksy, Magina, Rotomwash, Umbreon, Seismitoad, Z Garbodor, Megalop, Latias, Darmanitan, Z Landorus, Incarnate, Aurorus, and Sceptile, which is also Wait, is that his Z. team or is that what like or is that what like all the first round picks were? That's his team. Aurorus first round. Yeah, Sceptile. <laughs> first round. Uh, you know you know what first I was going Sceptile. for. That's disgusting. First yeah. round. Yeah, right, this 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 team. Parksy, if you're trying to talk, we can't hear you, just so you know. Um, oh, no, just in this big moment. He is, he is, yeah. oh, yeah, he, no, he's letting his head get big. He's, he's yeah, it's just, his... And he's just soaking it up. Okay. Uh, yeah. Basically, my main strategy was just to pick up Pokemon that I felt fell around or two later than they should have, so I picked up Megalopony round two, Rudamarsh round yeah. three, um, Latias round four, and Umbreon round five. Around. That's definitely a round one pick, so I'm glad I got it round three. <laughs> and not a round one pick. <laughs> that Pokemon did work. <laughs> it worked all six of my games. It, it was a late yeah, Landorus. Yeah, it does come every week. It does come every week, pretty much. It was a late Landorus pickup. Yeah, um, I, 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 I think good. Lando's so, so nice on this team. It, I found it interesting that you got both Seismitoad and Rotom Wash. They do different things. Yeah, Very yeah, different. exactly. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that because I think, um, it, I think it's more. Like, you guys got two ground types, which uh, one wasn't weak to. Um... Yeah, I didn't uh, want my only ground type being weak to HPIs. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It, it's. I mean, they're both great. They're both probably two of the best um, water types at what they do. Um, I think Umbreon is an interesting one. I guess it's kind of their in a way, in the same way that we said other people needed um, yeah, I think, dark one types thing I to stop psychics I think, and ghosts. I think this team leans a lot on Umbreon. I, Defensively. I disagree, like, because I think Rotom Wash, because, Seismitoad, like, and Latias are all great defensively as well. The one thing, I, I, I think Umbreon is, only, like, is only Wish Passer, I believe. I, I, Latias gets Wish. Gets it. But I feel like it, I, 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 I feel pass, like though. when you, I, I feel like when you have an Umbreon vote, how, how often are you gonna bring Wish Latias? Unless it has like a bad matchup per se. Do you, does yeah. Latias like does Latias get Baton Pass? Over wish. Like Healing Wish, which is also really good on this team. Look myself. Yeah. See, um, I feel like if you, um, I feel like um, 
the issue with that as well is that uh, you can sort of take advantage of Umbria on a fair bit, so you have to keep that in mind when building. Yeah. Just I, I picked up Umbreon just because I needed a dark type. And I also needed a wish passer. Yeah, so also, I was saying about say to you say too. about Latias having wish, but he doesn't have Baton Bass, so you, you can't pass yeah. that. You have to hard switch. I always switch out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, Dormanitan is is great. Yeah. Uh, I think it links really well with Landorus and with Magina. Uh, and yeah. Megalop, obviously, like Megina. Yeah, I, 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 I like the uh, Megina Megalop Latias core. I think that's really yeah. Good. I, I, I like Megina. Lando, yeah. Megalop Lando is is great. Yeah. Uh, personally, I think Sceptile. There were better options. I know you were at my right? I think there were better options than the but um, yes, obviously. yeah. Um, so why have you got Sceptile? Is it pretty much for the speed? Uh, well, firstly, it was because of the speed 120. I wanted Aerodactyl for my 130, but has took it, so I picked up Landris instead, which I think is a pretty good fallback mod. And then uh, I was looking at Sea Septile, uh, move pool, and I was like, oh my goodness, this You're like, oh my goodness, an enormous move pool. We're like, oh my god, it's enormous. They're all physical attacks. There, there's like Dragon Pulse. Yes, Dragon Pulse, Energy Ball, Giga Drain. Yeah, Lando, Lando Leaf Lando Storm, special. they're his only special moves. Okay, and, well, and I can run Sword Stance. And Frenzy Plant. You can run, you can run Car, uh, car Mine, can't you? Uh, work Up, I believe, is his only special boosting attack. That is correct. Or move, sorry. Does it get Agility, though? Oh, is it just Fearing that gets Car Mine? Because I know Fearing gets Car Mine because I uh, ran it one week. What gets Car Mine? Uh, Landers Fearing. Oh, we're on about Septile, mate. Oh, wait, does, does that mean that normal Lando gets Calm Mind? Run about Scepter, why not about Wanderous? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I was going to pick up Latias, but then Landris and Kanye felt give me a few more options in terms of the Z moves because it's a special attacker and a physical attacker. And I can set up in so many different ways with Rock Polish, Calm Mind, right. Sword Stance, yeah. Bulk Up. One... And so Latias, I feel, might be a bit more defensive. Yeah, One I, uh, thing yeah. that I did really like that you picked up until I saw the nickname you had for it was Garbador. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I think Garbador is really good. underrated. Uh, yeah, toxic that's... spikes, spikes. It's a good move set, um, both physically and specially. But you're mostly going to be physical. Um, it's a good Z user as well. Z gunk shot hurts like a truck, as well as you get like you get a cheeky Z seed bomb in there. Or a Z stomping tantrum, something like that. Or uh, I don't know the power on the multi attacking moves for Z uh, for Z moves, but you have like Z rock blasters stuff as well. Um, if you want to hit, get a uh, a rock Z move. Not to mention you have aftermath and uh, explosion as well, um, which you can you can always use to uh, surprise someone. Um, one one question, Parksy, is okay. uh, I know you have Darmanitan, but uh, why why didn't you pick up Rapidash? No, oh, Rapidash, oh. hypocrite here. I d I don't know, just you know. Because I mean, I just... use ra like I wanted to make use of another fire type. So yeah. So instead of Darmanitan, like, use Fox, instead so. of Darmanitan, get yourself a good grass type, and then replace <laughs> Septile yeah, exactly. with Rapidash. Yeah, yeah, why don't you take it before uh, he takes uh, if he does take it? Yeah. Well, the, the reason why I picked up Dermanitan was because at that point, as I already told uh, as I already said, I, I was planning to pick up Aerodactyl, so I wanted to secure a Volturn core. So, yeah. just just because I, I felt like Volturn would have been nice for Megir and Megalophony, so I prioritized that. I mean, for, for, for uh, tier 3, tier 3, instead of Dermanitan, <laughs> you could have had Reloom, you could have had Decidui, you could have had what other grass types are there in uh, Decidui. I was going to say Roserade, but someone's took out Roserade. Uh, Whimsicott. Whimsicott. Decidui. Yeah, uh, I think that's Decidui. it. Decidui. Uh, or or <laughs> Venusaur. You could have took Venusaur. That's all I'm coming back for. I'm and then you out. could have had Rapidash instead of the Sceptile. That team could have been so much better. That's why I put you down in 16th. No, no, this is your is actually, this is your would actually be pretty good with this team because I feel like this team struggles against some fighting types. 
I was, I was speaking, we were spe I was speaking to Park to you about this. Um, Did yeah. you want to make a Doko by close combat? Well, also because fighting types always have ridiculous amounts of yeah, coverage. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, obviously it's not going to cover everything, but I think like I, I feel like Latias, something like um, seventy, Garbador, like seventy like really percent pressured. of all fighting types have the elemental punches. So it's like it, it, the issue. The issue mainly stems from one, he doesn't have a ghost type, and two, um, yeah. beginners is fairy type. Yeah, and like his he, his, he pretty much has the problem which I had in season four. Honestly, yeah. your best answer for fighting types is Rotom Wash. No, it's Latias. No, because I, most of them have Ice Punch. But what about or knock off, fighting types or knock crunch. Off Go so, Garbodor. Yeah, it's like it's a it's Garbada and Rotom Wash are your best options. Yeah, and like and a, and a like, lot of uh, fighting Garbodor types have Earthquake. Garbodor doesn't have, have like natural recovery, so I, w I would still say. But it's I guess you could run. You could always run uh, weak armor Garbodor. And yeah, I, 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 have, like, have that like, tasty one fifty. Obviously, Garbodor. at that point when we go into coverage, it does become slightly petty. Yeah. But I feel like may, I feel like a ghost light would help me see. Yeah. Or Maybe, another like fine resist. So you, you have, I believe you. So have... uh, fix that, Poxy. You have. Okay. <laughs> you have anything in mind? I think I think you have you have two rockers, don't you? You have Aurorus and Seismitoad. Three rockers. Uh, and Lando. Lando. And, well. Sorry, yeah, and Lando. Why, and did, you why have did you pick Aurorus? Spikes and toxic. Uh, Aurorus gave me two typings that I didn't have. It gave me a slash user and another staff rock user. Sorry, that's, it, that's it, really it, it gave you a sash user. <laughs> it gave me a mon a that's so weak it has to have a move that saves it. Yeah, that that's probably like the worst excuse I've ever heard of drafting like, a mon. Like it's got me... it's got good stats. It just has the worst typing known to it's, man. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of Aurorus. If it if it had a better typing than Ice Rock, it could be good. It... Ice Rock Hon is good off Honestly, the ba there. basically, if it wasn't a fossil, it would be good. If it was ice and something else. Like, I, I could see that being an ice dragon and Tyrantrum being a rock dragon. Is, is JJ here? No, he's muted. No, he's not. There. I was going to say, um, <laughs> just, just to remind that Aurorus does not get um, Veil. Yeah, that is, that's a shame yep. as well. I'm yeah. here. I am oh. currently on a, uh, but but what I wanted to say is, Arxy, what is a focus dash user? <laughs> what? Like, uh, okay, I'll touch on that when I get back in my truck. But um, anyway, Aurora's does not get bit. This, this, not. That's your Marini, JJ. It's a focus dash user. Focus dash for Marini. Aurora's is a focus dash lead. Right, back to, back to the task. <laughs> on to number two. We have Jack. Uh, we might we might need JJ back again. <laughs> Jack of the Los Angeles Lavatars. Uh, I'm trying to think where I put this. I think I actually put it quite low. Yeah, I'm yeah. I think trying you had it to find yeah. my reasoning for that. I had him second. It, I, honestly, yeah, it, I, might, I, it might just be that I did one of his one of the first ones and kind of underrated it. Yeah, maybe. I I um. I, I had I, I've had I've already had to prep for this and it's it's a, it's a nightmare. Also, I didn't see the swallow. Um, I think mainly what I was thinking was his. Actually, I've I've really underrated its, uh, it defensively. So that's, yeah, it's that so good go defensively. Like there are there, he has like some weaknesses, but then they're so covered by his other defensive mons. Yeah, but it's, so the, like, the only thing I could really find when I was building is that he's he doesn't really have a good earthquake switching. Earthquake. Cathagrigus. No, I... Eh. Yeah. Oh, it's like Stone Edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's Rotom yeah, that, Mo. That's not bad. No, that's not bad. That's not, it's, that's it's, not bad. Honestly. It's like Rotom Mo, which again it's, doesn't resist the Stone Edge. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, but I mean, like, physical-wise, they probably not exactly physical. Um, yeah. yeah. I'd but say like, Kofax from best. But yeah, exactly. Even then, that's, that's like, pretty much my... Only complaint. Yeah, um, yeah, I, 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 I couldn't find much. I think to... like his his special attackers. You've got Mega Diancy and Nida Queen are like his main. Oh, and, no, he has yeah. has Alpha as well. Um, yeah, or his main special. Oh, um, he can threats. he can run uh, Swallow with. Uh, I, I was, a spec I was user or just user. thinking that, and then was trying to figure out what Swallow's special attack was. Uh, I think uh, seventy five. Yeah, seventy five isn't yeah. too bad. 
Yeah, it used to be like fifty thousand. Yeah, aspects boom bust or uh, yeah, aspects and, and heat wave and stuff as well. Yeah, it's it's basically, it's basically just it, yeah, it's basically just a slightly worse uh, mega chat up. Slightly worse chat up. Oh, uh, oh yeah, or or, or chat up. <laughs> get chat up. Yeah. Also, chat up has uh, base ninety two special attack. Yeah, it's slightly cool. slower though. Uh, but yeah, um, but just a I, bit. I love the Kioran Black Mega Diancy, Mega Diancy yeah. Man yeah. Mandibus. Yeah. And the Scizor Mandibus yeah, the as well. Yeah, the Scizor to uh, resist the steel types. Scizor Vaporeon uh, Mandibus is nice. He just has a lot of like trios that work together really yeah, well. Yeah, I agree. This, mm -hmm. He has a lot of really um, cool. He has, for Rocks, he has Monferno and I believe Azalf. Mega Dampy, Nido Queen. Yeah. Oh, of course, Nido Queen. Forgot about Nido Queen. Um, Azalf the, is a, like a really good suicide lead with Staff yeah. Rock's explosion. Um, Mega Dancy is always nice because you have the magic bounce uh, and stuff like that. Um, doesn't have any hazards other than rocks, though, does he? Toxic spikes. Oh, toxic, toxic spikes on Nido Queen. Bangers. I need the queen actually. Yeah. The, the only problem I have with this team, and it's a very small problem, is just steel types can kind of annoy it with a shuckerberry. Yeah, yeah, or or Celestia, or on a tot of my Celestia. <laughs> yeah, his counter for Celestia is Monferno. Like, well, he only has to play for or, or actually, Celestia is ba basically um, foul play uh, Mandibus. Living a role. Uh, which was which was in my favor, by the way, for uh, a crunch, and then taunting my Celestia so I couldn't get my Totemize off and lost the game. Is this what your predicting has? Yeah, this is, this because, is this bold prediction. Because after all, we haven't played our week one games yet. Yeah, yeah. Wink, wink. I, I yeah. guess I guess Azalf is a is a Celestia counter. What? Yeah. Nothing does the heavy slam. Does it? Fair enough. Never mind them. I was I was gonna say like taunt fire blast. Yeah, I mean, it like it, it it as long as it hasn't gotten autonomized. Uh, 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 yeah, generally he seems pretty good. Do it defensive. Um, I, I, I guess with steel types, he, he does have a Nido Queen, Parks. He does have a Nido Queen. Yeah, but like steel types, is like a Shucker Berry, so you run like. I, I don't oh, know. Okay. I, get, like... I, get, I, get, uh, I get what you mean. If it's Shucker Berry, though, it's going to get hit by Monferno. Uh, Monferno is a god. I was talking about Monferno. Haz ha was can laughing I, and he's the one that strapped it. Can, can, <laughs> I, can I just five. say, right, no one ever got to see this because I, I did drop out of playoffs last season, but I did have a plan of bringing Monferno to every playoff game I had without a good or bad matchup. <laughs> but we never got to see it, so hopefully Jack makes the most. Uh, Monferno. Oh, Monferno. Um, yeah, it actually. It's terrible, but it's surprisingly decent in some matchups. If people don't it's like, realize, it's like that. Uh, it's see, like this is a proof from last season where he just said it was never gonna come. Honestly, hold on, I want to hear. I want to hear Mike's analogy. Poxy is the Monferno of draft league. <laughs> it's terrible, but it seems to do really well. No, like I mean, okay, so if you don't prep for things, uh, like, I'll, I'll post if you don't him. consider things, then they're gonna they're gonna body. And I saw that a lot with Rotom last year too. Is people looked ahead of the team and they prep for like all his monsters, and his little guys kind of just swooped in and were like, "Hey, we're gonna start doing work." That's so, why I've drafted Rotom yeah. a lot since. So like, basically, what ads. you're saying, Mike, is that I'm underestimated. I'm an underdog. Yeah, yeah, Parks, you are. Uh, Parks, no, I'm saying you're bad, <laughs> but you managed to fluke results. <laughs> I do. Have you're you're being ageist. You guys mind? What'd you say? I said I got a few comments on this team, if that's cool. Yeah, yeah, sure, um, go for it. No, go for it. Go for it. Yeah, it's it's I, cool. Well, I helped, uh, has, may or may not play in for week one. I don't know, yeah. maybe. I don't need yeah, to look at the planning to help me. Yeah, it's just as I was planning to help him. Yeah, I predict that I will help him. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so this team, like I think Mike said, it has a lot of good uh, triples, a lot of good pairs, you know, like three mods that work very well together. If you prep for the wrong trio, you're in trouble, and I think has may or that may not have a problem in week one with that. If you prep for something and then something else comes, that makes sense. <sighs> Probably make a MC. <laughs> yeah, exactly, because he has a lot of issues. He has a lot of good mons on the team and a lot of good pairs, 
and if you kind of don't prep for certain things, you're just going to catch a body real quick. So, but also, if he gets any luck too, his team's going to kind of roll. If he gets any crits and things like that. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's or that's gonna be too harsh, awesome, Jack. That's he played. He played well. He played. No, he, he might, he, he, too, so I predict him play well. Well. <laughs> play well. <laughs> Yeah, but it, it, that's what's so tough about these about good battlers with good teams is you have to play perfect. Yeah, I exactly. Talk, I talked yeah, about that a few. A few that's what's like, wrong with uh, good battlers ago. with good teams. But like, I, in my opinion, every match starts out at fifty-fifty. Well, for the most part, and yeah. then it, it, your play can only do so much. So if you call like like okay, take my match against Zero for week one, or it happens. I don't care what you guys say. So like me like me and Zero are pretty comparable battlers, right? Skill wise, and my team had the advantage going in, and I felt like I played well, but if hacks happened, you're going to lose. Do you just say you, know you and Zero are comparable battlers? We're pretty similar, I'd say. But, but Zero's good. <laughs> I mean, who's won a season and who hasn't? Uh, Zero? No, you. <laughs> so, like, I mean, I'm a decent battler, I'd say. You are good, too, obviously. But, I mean, I'm just saying... That's that's what happens sometimes. So if you get good teams to good players, and they get they get lucky. If they're so hard to beat, yeah, so hard. Yeah, back into my hole. All right, All right, and then you just imagine Jake finally... is like hiding guy in the toilets oh, or something. On, just do... All right, what, the heck is a <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> focus slash lead. Like I... yeah, I have a lead. Look, it has, it has. I guess. I guess Monferno is uh, is Jack's Focus Sash user. Yeah. yeah. It, it's you know, is. You go through and identify every user of Focus Sash possible. Like that's that is the weirdest thing I've ever heard. I have like three. <laughs> I've okay, Tank. it's Lead then. Has what's the? Actually, we'll talk about that in a minute. Kling Clang is my Focus Sash user. <laughs> Kling Clang and Crab Abominable actually have two. But we'll move on to. Can well, I think he, think he asked one thing. I know. I think Jack said that at some points that he didn't like his team, or well, I didn't say he didn't like. He said he had this one issue with his team because he couldn't yeah. get Blazer. Can what exactly yeah, I, do you think? Blazikin... I don't understand why he's upset that he didn't get Blazer. Because in my opinion, <laughs> Monferno was better than Blazer. Because we, we don't. I think, I think value cause, wise. I think value because we wise. don't. We don't allow speed boost Blazer. Doesn't matter. It's a better focus dash user. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, I just don't like Blaziken's speed tier. That's my issue with it. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather have Monferno than Blaziken. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, for twenty points, and he got. Um... Also, it's a rocker. Stealth rocks. Yeah, exactly, stealth rocks, and that means he could afford other things. So I, I, I don't, I don't know exactly yeah. what he meant when he said. Um... Yeah, priority. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, Blaziken has priority, but it's, it's a special place. Yeah. Right. Okay, that doesn't exist. Yeah, and uh, like Monfer <laughs> and um, Blaziken's special move pools, meh. Yeah. It's like overheat and like air Empire. air cutter or something. I don't know. Anyway. But yeah, I, I, I hope I hope that um Jax uh flies the flag for us Monfono users. Let, let's move on to number one and in a strange <laughs> twist of fate the Also Azel is a focus slash user. In in a strange twist of oh, fate, sure. the the head of the league, the guy who oh. calculated all the numbers and made mm. the slides, is somehow mm. managed to scrape his way to number one. So hey, has talk us like, through. I remember putting half sixteen. Waiting for this. Talk At us last. through your monster of a team. Okay, so basically, my my initial idea was basically to build around the core of Seller Stealer. Zardex and Latios. Now you may be asking why you have two Dragon users. Well, they don't actually share any weaknesses apart from Dragon, which Celesteela managed, which Celesteela basically eats any Dragon hits. And at the same time, Celesteela's only uh, weaknesses are Electric and Fire, which both Zardex and uh, Latios um, pretty much eat up. And since Celesteela is so bulky, teams usually have to run maybe like a choice user. It's like a, so they lock themselves into like fire types moves or electric type moves and that basically means that um zardex and latios just come in and set up and uh win oh piss, piss off we, we've lost poxy for a second but it's okay because <laughs> where's his jj doesn't, his opinion we... doesn't matter anyway house just keep talking we... about your team keep talking about your team hello yeah, but... oh, uh, poxy's uh laptop side so so we need you that's the phone i got 13 yeah, minutes I... on my stuff i'm good 
I got 13 minutes. What's up? Oh, see, all, all right, all right. It's, we're, the, we're on my team. Uh, I mean, I'm finished oh, talking about it. There's, there's no weakness to your team. You have multiple rockers. You have multiple removals. You have a counter for every like type, really. You have a lot of good cores, like you said, like Celesteela and either Megazard X or Latios and Florgis is ridiculous. Yeah. Crocodile, Celesteela and Silvalli is really good, as is Crocodile, Celesteela and Roserade, or Roserade, Slowbro and uh, Mega Charizard X, or literally any three Mons you could pick, pretty much. I oh, actually want to re add up his points. Because I'm pretty sure his team's leaving. Like, yeah, uh, uh, can, uh, can we, ch can we check the points? On there are like, like low tier mods. It looks like that's what I'm saying. Like he, he drafted yeah. so well. Yeah. Basically, basically, you fixed the tiers and then took everything that we didn't notice. Oh, I, 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 got, I got sniped a lot of times at the start. Like, I think I ended up wiping JP a fair bit. Having Slowbro, Roserade, and Aerodactyl. As your last three free picks makes it sound like you picked Stunfisk in the first two. Yeah. And you didn't. You took Silvalli and Latios, which are two of the like, frequently drafted. Like, they never go through a draft and drafted. Yeah, I, I, was, I, was, I was pretty surprised Slowbro lasted to the last pick, pretty much. I feel like it's one the of the amount best of people we've water said types. needed bulky waters. Yeah, it's, 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 it's tier three. It's just, I thought I thought it was crazy. I feel like that plus uh, Rose Rate has pretty decent uh, defensive synergy, uh, as well as Florgis. And, uh, uh, and obviously Salasila. So for once, I actually do have uh, defense, which uh, JJ's been preaching for the last two seasons. That I have no walls. Yeah, and now this season, you have uh, Electrode. Uh, yeah, this is. Uh, the, I, I will say the reason I picked Electro was specifically because I looked through, I looked through all the other teams. I know there were a lot of teams like JJ's team, like Cavs team, uh, like Parksy's team, which had a lot of speed to them. So I felt like, uh, so I felt like having that 150 mom could have some value. And yeah. plus, there's like no good electric types in 5B. And also, it was it came down to uh, between Raikou and Electro. Obviously, yeah, obviously, I've oh, yeah. Raikou. Honest, honestly, you sniped Electrode from me when I was going for that Raikou, and... Uh... <laughs> but no, we do need to focus on, I think, your lower tier mods. Um, Savali, Aerodactyl, Electrode, and Ariyama are just so much value at their spots, yeah. and you drafted perfectly around them. Um, honestly, like Savali... the, o the only other good Electric you could have got at that point if Electrode got sniped from you, it was literally Electabuzz. Yeah, which yeah, I can actually afford that. Uh, no, it's a five B. Oh, I like to. Oh, no, it's, it's, no, it's not. It's a five A. Never mind. I was, I was going to say, I'll, I'll, I'll just drop, I'll just drop electrode straight away. <laughs> nah, electrode's better. Than I, want, I want to talk a little bit about. Sorry, Savali it's it's uh, uh, the, yeah, it's uh, the Savali gods. Electrode will yeah, do no, dude, you have Savali into Guard X, into Celestia, and into Crocodile. Like as far as setup goes, that's just yeah. devastating, and. To like, you're gonna okay. So, Celesteela, Crooked Isle, uh, Guard, even Latios, those four together will break a team. Like, not like I'm saying like we'll break every team individually, but one of those mods will break any, every team in the draft, no matter what. Right. One of those mods. Well, mm. If you get Savali into him clean, it's it's over. Like, it, that that's what's so tough. It's Savali is just so good for this team. It's such a great, and you have, and obviously you talk to me and I help you build. So obviously Savali is going to be brought at the best of its ability. Oh, yeah, of course, yes. Well, so the, the like... thing is, I feel like some a lot of the time you might end up bring bringing Silvalli normal. Yeah. Or, essentially. Or Silvalli. Um, Silvalli dark awesome. Just some yeah something that stops um, ghost types. Because that's the only criticism I can say is that Crocodile is your only ghost counter. But I mean, even ghost, even ghost mons don't appreciate. Uh, so like, okay, so ghost mons are mostly special, special, right? They're not gonna be able to break through floor as much unless it's Gengar. But they're not gonna break through Assault Vest Hariyama, and they're not gonna break through Crocodile very easily as well. So yeah. I mean, he can tech, he can tech. So like, what are, what are the ghost types you scared of? Gengar, like an Assault Vest. Miss Magius. I'm really scared of Miss Magius. Yeah, Miss Magius yeah. actually just worked oh, for I'm your team. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what's a crocodile to a choice specs energy ball mismatches? Miss Magius. It does what forty? 
I kind of want to has Cal Cal Choice Specs Energy Ball Miss Magius versus Gryffindor. All right. Okay, sixty no, percent. And and then do 87. Choice Specs Shadow Ball versus Flordius. And we'll see just how much All of right. a threat Miss Magius is to your team to round off. I bet you he does sixty. Uh, was it? Oh, crap, crap. I'll be honest, JJ, we can't really hear you because of <laughs> lag and stuff. Hey, I know, I'm in the back. Oh, you can, you can hear you now. It looks like a second ago. I got it on the tree. Uh, got on the tree. yeah, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, 68282. What, that's like, 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 like non invested. That's a non invested, though. Yeah. Non invested, that's, what, Crooked Yeah. So yeah, it takes, so the, takes a hit. So zero, I mean, it does nothing. <laughs> and then, and then Miss Major just dies. Yeah, it might well Honestly, be zero. Miss Major is not a special attacker. If I could make one change to your team, it would be uh, put a Stunfisk in there. But oh, I did. I told you I wanted to draft Stunfisk. I did tell you this. I wanted to. Draft well, Stunfisk. I told you if you drafted it t round I two. I couldn't afford it. I couldn't afford it with all the other ones I had. If I told you if you'd have took it round two. Then I'd have let you have Nagana down, but in the end, um, I, I you know, you know maybe next season. in with a better trade. Maybe next season. Oh, I'm going to get bloody banned, isn't it? Yeah. I'd like to say also, Aerodactyl is a great focus dash user. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. So so is Roserade. So is Roserade. With your. Uh, yeah, I, I, I like Roserade in this team people. just because of. Toxic I feel like uh, T spikes with that plus Stellar Seed is really deadly. Also, it's a, once it's you a... get Leech Seed up. I think it's a surprisingly good assault vest user as well. Yeah, it is, it is a really good assault vest user. Uh, and then you have like leech seed and just a bit of bulk in either way. You have Giga Drain, you have Sludge Bomb, Dazzling Gleam, stuff like that. I do also want to make it clear. I, I was the only person who didn't put myself. I was the only person that didn't put my team at number one. Just just because anyone thinks this is a fix. Yeah, has put his team at a three, and then me and Poxy put it at one. Who, who did you have uh, at number one again? Uh, I think I had Jack. Yeah. I think I had Jack fairly low, but that was that was yeah. kind of a mistake. Who yeah, cares? He's, he's going to make playoffs and he's probably yeah. going to win. And I'm probably going to come. I'm probably going to get relegated now. Nah, you, My you'll, luck is... You'll, you'll scrape the last playoff place. Yeah, well, I guess we'll see. I guess Let, we'll let's see. be honest. You look at relegation, you're looking at Oak, you're looking at me. And you're looking at either like Jamoy if his luck is as bad as it was last season, or like Pack, uh, and, and like one or two others. Uh, but not Parksy because Parksy's just yeah because Parksy's team is so good that he'll just he'll just fail himself to eighth. <laughs> and Parksy isn't here, so we can basically just yeah. Pa Parksy yeah. Parksy will lose out to on playoffs to you on the last game of the season. Oh, well, I, 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 I don't think we play. Like, I think we play like fifth, fifth week. I think. No, but I'm saying you'll win your last game. Oh, oh yeah, lose. yeah. I think we're in different divisions though. But sure, why not? Sure. It's a wild card, isn't it? Yeah. Well, have you got anything else to add? Uh, I think that's right, it. That, that, that's. How, can we now recap all the teams? No. Please. The end. Right. So we have Has at number one. No, do, do, do it reverse all. Do, do, do it 16 Jesus to 1. Christ. 16 to 1. You're annoying. All the way back to the first. Right. Thirds. So you have. Yeah. At 16, we have Coach Oak with his poison monotype team um, that gets swept by Mold Breaker. Um, it, it's hard to say anything about Oak's team because yeah, it's, just... it's just poison. Uh, then, we have, the memes. then we have me who doesn't know what a wall is uh, nope. uh, or what hazards are. Nope. We have uh, Pack who uh, I can't remember why he's this low because I just look at his team and I really like it. Uh, well, why was he this low? Has... Uh, I think Park's been 15th. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, know, uh, I, I remember because I, I, I just I, I, I wasn't a fan of Avalog and Volbeat like, Yeah. From a serious standpoint, as his uh, removal, but from a mean standpoint, he's he's second place behind Oak. So we we appreciate yeah. you for the because memes he picked pack. Avalog. We appreciate you for that. Uh, if if you're still watching, that is yeah. no, no one's still watching Probably at this not. point. At thirteenth, we have Jamoy and the Perf Polytoads. Um, hopefully, his luck isn't as bad as it was last season. Yeah. 
of what yeah, it could but be. I, I think we'll see a balance this year. Yeah, last season just nothing went right, and even mm. when they did, it still had a way of going wrong. Did did Jimoy actually get a win last season, or was his only win? Uh, they, 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 he got a forfeit left. win from Luke. He got a forfeit yeah. win from Luke, who's his biggest fan. So you know, I'm, I've got it as a fix. Yeah, this seemed remotely fixy. Um, in twelfth place, we have Spoink of the Della Birds. Um, just needs a bit. Just just get a f- more just ground. Yeah, ground type, and don't get rid of Tangrowth unless it's to me. Uh, I'll trade yeah. for well, 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 Tangrowth's open if anyone wants it. The, the, Mike, if you do want it, you can just ask. I, honestly, I might, I might just trade it for Celebi that I've just got. <laughs> uh, next up, Avocado, um, Ice, and Ghosts, and Psychics. Oh my. Yeah. It wasn't Psychics, it was Dark, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I just love how it's tiny. Tiny like that. Tenth, we have Hughes. Um, Rapidash. <laughs> yeah. Z Marini. Rapidash. Uh, like, ninth, where, where, whether he keeps uh, Marini or Rapidash, he will always have a meme on his team. Yeah. Uh, in ninth, we have Non Zero. Um, get a get a weakness. Uh, resistances. Yeah, she's just. Fix, fix your team. It's it's it's, it's so, it's it's so. Um, honestly, hyper honestly, I don't think he needs. I was gonna say I don't think he needs Blacephalon, but he does because it's only, it's his only special attacker. Other yeah, than, like, yeah, exactly. You don't. I, you, it, 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 you don't need Terrakion. You don't yeah. need Terrakion. I feel like I feel like I don't know. I can't remember if I said this. Earlier. I feel like Ditto and uh, Illumise just really unbalances his team. Yeah, Ditto I'm because... fine with. Like like no like Ditto like individually it's 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 a, it's a good win con but um it it just makes his team just like yeah. synergy wise it's all just unbalances it yeah okay then uh, eighth we have Gengar Raichu uh, get a rocker and get by the speeders yeah f- f- fast seventh we have JP um get something that doesn't get destroyed by taunt yeah um, and be good. Yeah. Uh, sixth, we have Cav. Uh, what was Cav's? Um, uh, dark. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, basically, ghost, go, ghost switching. And psychic. And and the psychic, yeah, switching. Yeah. Um. So get a poniard. Yeah. Um, <laughs> get a poniard. <laughs> fifth, we have JJ. Uh, just generally get good at Pokemon. Oh yeah, of um, course. Can't think of anything else we said for JJ. Uh, grounded poison. Yeah, that was it. Um, uh, that's like for half if, the team. If there's if there's any left, uh, for MX3, it's just it's your it's you. So we can't really tell you. This yeah, is, this just, is just like you. they just as long as uh, it's like an MX3 team. MX3 just right. going to do my, well. My, this is my thing for MX3. Maybe just draft something different next year. <laughs> just, oh just, no, you the you know, MX3 what you should do. basically draft. Like a, big team, you know what? Do a park Apu Finney, a Berafor, and basically the exact yeah. same team every year. Just, just every... do a proxy and just steal someone else's team, preferably not mine, but it'll be fine because I'll be in a different division next year. You know, you know what? You know, I, I've got a good suggestion of what te- team you should steal. JPs. I was going to say Oaks. <laughs> uh, in third, we have Parksy. Uh, stop hacking everyone, you little shit. Um, <laughs> Not when I'm salty. Stop stealing teams. <laughs> Stop stealing my teams. Uh, get rid of Sceptile, it's trash. Okay, uh, predictions of where Parks is going to be in week two or Power uh, of Kings. Uh, in second, <laughs> we have we have Jack of the Lavatars. Uh, he has them on phone. Uh, Stop being you because it's annoying and it's not fair to the rest of us. And uh, in first, we have Has. Uh, uh. Just try, so not satisfying. To, try not to give up in playoffs this time. Yeah. Well, that's, no, that's, that's, that's our. I don't care about playoffs. That's, that's our advice to everyone. Yeah. Quick fire advice. So, I think with that, it, Jesus Christ, two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. I thought okay. this would be like forty-five minutes. Nah, nah, two and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be fun to upload. At two and a half hours. All right, we are signing well. out. Well, so, we, we I think we, I think we went more in depth than we did in D two. Yeah, that's because the 
Yeah. Um, did we do D two? I wasn't in yeah, it. Was we did D two. Yeah, I was. Right. I was. We just took the. We just yeah. insulted on a, um, his team. Yeah, and then and, and we, we, we weren't very nice. Well, Parksy wasn't very nice to Specs. Yeah. And uh, JJ called um, Miss Major a wall. Yes. Um, but thank you all for watching this episode uh, of the uh, Power Rankings. If you're still next watching, week, that is. Next week we will have uh, Division 1, Week 1 Power Rankings. Probably not Division 2 because we're lazy. Maybe yeah, we will. I, we'll see if anyone I think they should be do done. Them. I think they should be done by the end of the week, actually. Yeah. If anyone That's does the do them. I have the template ready. I can send it to someone to yeah, do it. Which sure, it's really probably JJ and someone yeah. else. So if, if you're interested in when you want to like maybe do one week of power rankings, you yeah. just hit us up. Yeah. As long as you don't put yourself at number one. As long you as your microphone it. is better than Parksy's. Um, yeah, or, or, or JJ's phone. Yeah. Okay. Right, so you're not at work. All right. I want to go because I'm thirsty yeah. and I want something to eat. So yeah, sure. See, see you. you. Goodbye. Toodles. Bye. TTFN. <laughs> Ta-ta for now.